Hey guys, guess what? Guess who's back? It's Cody, baby! Hey! Oh, no, it's Oh, no, it's... Oh, my God! Oh, you're not drunk! Hit the intro! 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 Hit the before he was here. We should just call it Cody Live because Cody is live once Woo! again. But one person stronger in his family, ladies and gentlemen, Cody's a dad. Cody. Cody. Hey. Cody what's up, everybody? Was it everything I told you it would be? Oh, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been fun. How's your sleep? Not good, Christian. No, it's not <laughs> good. Thanks for asking. I'm with you. Same with, same with me, man. So, so tell me about it. So what, what, uh, did you, did you cry like I did? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was fine during the when? whole birth and then the, the second the kid came out there, I was like, shit. Yep. Same <laughs> yeah. with me. Same with me. First one, first one I was. Second one. Like was happy tears, you mean? Yeah, of oh, course, yeah, yeah, yeah. of yeah. course. Just because you realize, you're like, oh, I did. I... <laughs> no, just miserable. No, like, just, just so upset. My life is over. His words were, "It's over." It's no, over. I didn't know if you meant like because you're so tired. Have you been crying? No, 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 or... no, no because it's just like this, this undescribable feeling. <laughs> Happiness? Of this... No, a dread, right. fear, terror. Why? Okay. Why? I, I'm confused. Have we not established where I'm at in terms no. of having oh, kids? Right. Or you guys? No, no, no. We're, no, we're, I get it. Okay. I get it. But Cody, so you see your, you see your, your. Son, yes, yes, Grant. You see your son, Grant. Mm -hmm. I guess Grant Hill. Um, Grant Hill. I know. I say Grant Hill. Uh, we see Grant Hill. I love him. And and so you, right away, what do you what do you say? Is the no, how was the birth? Everything was good. Yeah, she actually Healthy? did really great. Yeah, it didn't take too long. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Nice. We, good. we made Everything, our dinner yeah. reservations. <laughs> <laughs> and how, how long before you get home to the, from hospital to uh, home? We were there for a couple days. And how scary was the ride from the hospital to home? Uh, scary, but also frustrating because I couldn't get the car seat to work. So oh, that's no. like when I had my existential like crisis, like I'm going to be a terrible father. Yeah. I can't get the fucking car seat to work. <laughs> it, it, I'm telling you, it, that, it's those car seats. To work? Seat, you got to put it's them in. It's a lot of buttons it, and it, shit. It's hooking them. It's it, What he's talking about, I think, is the actual hookup of the seat to the back of the car, which is a disaster. Is they don't that, make you that? test that? Well, I, mean, I had that already it. done. You it had that done. Getting okay. the straps loosened, oh, which I, I thought would be easy right. to figure out just you, right away. And you got to aim the kid the opposite way. You can't yeah. aim him towards I you. I feel like yeah. I could do that. We'll see. Um, That's a good cool. sketch. That's yeah. a good off thing sketch. Yeah. Is, co is Roxy, no training, goes in to try and to figure try out figure Cody's out car, car seat. seat. But, but the thing is, it's, it's that ride It's that ride home. How long is the, the ride from the hospital to your house? Ours was like 10, 15 minutes. It's not too bad, but still. No. And you and Felt you, like two hours. Yeah. <laughs> and you drove you drove slower than an 80-year-old in Florida, yes, right? Went yeah. about 14, <laughs> 15 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like you don't want to break anything. Cody, so, do you have family staying with you during this or no? Um, for a couple of days of the week. Yeah. And they're like, then we're like, we're out. It's like, we can't come over every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, they bring you yeah, like, so, shit. What, so, what happens at night? Like, you go to bed and the baby goes to bed and you just stay up hoping that the baby's okay? Well, no. Yeah. Well, initially. Kind of. Initially. I didn't sleep kind at all of. the first night because I was just like, I don't want to leave him in case he falls over. Right. Right. Yeah. And, falls and, 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 over. Well, because right now they're just bobble, falls over. Just a bobblehead. And you don't, they can't in, a, be, in a thing, right? No, you're swallowing them. How, how, do crib. you hate the swaddle as much Fuck as I do? I hate the swaddle. I hate the swaddle. What do you I mean? Why? To work. The it's, nurses made it look so easy. It's the worst. It's I hate it. Do you know what you know what we it's did, Cody? Tough. What you should still you should still do? And you might have done this already. We bought those ones. It's like a Velcro swaddle. Yeah. It's it's just it's basically done for you. You don't have to do that <laughs> stupid rapid. swaddle. Did you never do roll ups? No. But wait, wait. What happened, Cody? What? No. Oh, you're gonna tell? Is that what happened? You got this. You got the Velcro one. We 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 have them. We never used them. And then eventually, we're like, fuck the swaddle. We don't need to do this. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because it just bo the bobble heads. And it, it's yeah. it's sleeping in a crib in your room currently, right? Yeah. Like it can't right. be. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Not far from you. And then like every few hours, you have to get up and feed. One yeah. Of he'll yell guys. and wake us up. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Feed or change. Feed or change. What Josh has said, Cody. Have we ditched the word it yet or no? I have. Ooh, good uh, job. Good it job. It took me a couple weeks, but there, I got there. No, you can't. Now, now because now you have a face. Yeah. yeah. Now you see. Okay. Yeah. Because now, now, if anybody calls it, now you want to break some skulls. Really? The, yeah, re yeah. the real question, Cody, is: Did you play Grant the Bad Boys for Life trailer, and what did he think? Uh, no, I didn't do that, Josh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will guess say, I failed. Breaking news is that Maisie is now uh, very interested in Star Wars. Oh. She because we had the books around. She goes Star Wars, and I said, <laughs> and I sat her down, and I was like. Look, looking at this book, who's that? She goes, Duke, Duke. <laughs> and I, all right, all right. So we're going through it, and she's learning all this stuff. But today was the best. Says, Vivi reading book. I'm like, I'm like, all right, works for me. She's putting together words. Yeah, she's like, she's like Caesar. She's big, yeah. She's like Caesar from yeah. Planet of the Apes. Does Sadie get annoyed? By Maisie? By Star Wars. Talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's like, oh, no. 100%. By Maisie? By Maisie. Well, I don't know Cody. if that's a question that you would ask. Well, I get it. You would. I would be annoyed. I'm annoyed by you. 
Mm. And I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. So this is this thing that we do on Thursday. Oh, no, no. It was like Wednesday. Mm. We set up this whole big thing. Oh. And we, then we talk about it on Friday and we, or Thursday. We say, listen, there's a big surprise. Oh, yeah. And we're not going to tell you until Monday. But oh, I yeah, didn't I that. know that. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't you think? No, why would I think that? Why? Because we said it was for the bit. For you to go in, why would you do? And you did it. You we talked, talked on, on the a live phone stream. for so long, and you didn't say one thing about it to I me. I thought you would get it, but it doesn't matter. You did it on a live stream. How long have we done this show? I Getting know, it? I know, I know. I should have said it, but <laughs> but so she gets. <laughs> Roxy gets on a live stream and, and admitted to some people. Maybe not everybody watched it, uh, but Roxy, you did something on Thursday. What did you I do? I did. I did. I went in to. And don't put the camera on anybody else for this because it's about her and not the show itself. Okay. I went in. <laughs> I went in to meet with a lovely human being about being on <gasps> The Bachelor. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you had the interview. Yeah. You go in there, and because you, and how long was how big was the application? By the way, uh, how many pages? Well, I took pictures okay. because I was like, <laughs> but then I was like, I don't know if legally I'm allowed sh- to legally show you this, can't show but, it, but no. I could show you. You can show. Uh, it. It's long. Yeah. There's two different parts of the application. I did read every I word. Going like this because yeah. I'd like written that like much s- since high school. Like six or seven pages. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. The, oh, okay. So there's there's the application and then there's the two contracts. Right. So both of them uh, were. It was a lot. The night before I had to do the application, it really made me question like, who am I? <laughs> un- un- unclear. <laughs> totally existential uh, yeah, crisis. Yeah, then. yeah. yeah. Because yeah. it's asking you questions like, why do you want to meet somebody right. on a on a dating show? And it's like. Good why question. do I want to meet somebody <laughs> on a dating show? You know, it just makes you question uh, why you're born and stuff. Right. So then, <laughs> but also, I'm like, I'm going in tomorrow. Like, how big of a deal is this? It's not like I'm applying to get the audition. Christian had already figured that right, out for right. me. So, yeah, I went in there, uh, basically contracts to sign your life away. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. It's not worth <laughs> that much anyway. Uh, and... Then it was interesting. Like I talked to a friend of yours, casting, yeah, who was the best, amazing. Yeah, he's a really sweet guy. We talked for quite a while. Um, he was so kind, but it was, and I was on camera, but it was very not auditiony. Yeah. Like they didn't, he didn't ask me anything that I would think somebody who needs to go on The Bachelor would get asked. Right? It was like just a conversation. That's kind of what they want to say. Right. Yeah. Um, so that was really nice. And I think uh, afterwards he told me, he was like, you know, we beforehand he said to me when I sat down, he was like, I just want to let you know we are all cast for this season. Um, Pretty much all it's all sealed up. Yeah, because they're shooting like a week or something. Yeah. Um, I don't know that. And also, I don't know what I'm allowed to say or not. But all I know is that he was like, uh, Christian's a good friend of mine. We're always looking at people for following years. So why don't we just have a conversation? I was like, okay, no worries. Um, I'm going to bother. If you're still single. By the time this in thing year. comes, yeah, in a year, when this comes around, I'm going to bother Are them to get you. Are you guys nervous about my eggs? No, you're twenty. You're in your twenties. Yeah, but still. Nah, right. How old are you now? Twenty eight. Nah. You're yeah. Good. You're oh, okay. Fine. Okay. You got. You got. You, you got a while. I think yeah. I need to like freeze them. No, you don't. No. Oh, okay. At, okay. At twenty eight. No. No. You're well, fine. Uh, after thirty five, you're considered a geriatric pregnancy. That is that true. is not untrue, but it's also. Don't you guys think about it like this? Like, so if I'm still single in a year, right? Yes. Then I'm gonna have to go on The Bachelor because right. then I'm, I've got about a month to meet somebody. You yeah, figure, okay. and, that, and that moves fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So let's let's figure that out. And yeah, if I sure. don't like the guy that you are dating in a year, we break you guys yeah, up. Break and then you go up on yeah, break out. Yeah. But see, here's, like, yeah. here's the di- like the different thing is like girls in LA, you could be 38 and and be single and still be like in your prime. But that's you know, the, like that's the thing, Josh. Hundred percent. Here's the deal. Like, one hundred percent or just hundred. Uh, Boston, hundred, hundred, hundred percent. I feel very not ready to be in a new long-term relationship. Great, and don't think I will feel ready for years. Okay. But my biology says you need to. Is oh. saying is saying this if you want to ever have England, children, right. you got to figure that now, shit out. Now, that's a, your that's, body that's, is saying that. That's your the mind East Coast. definitely oh, is not. That's my the mind East Coast is, in you. and I don't think I ever do want to have kids. But I don't want to end up thirty-eight single and then be like, "Fuck, I wish I had kids." You can still have kids at thirty-eight. Yes. With what? My vagina. You can no, get, your, your, no, your ears. With, with adoption. <laughs> you just pop it out of your no, head. No, that, you, like, yes, you can still have a kid really? at 30. You'll be fine. Yes. I yes. I know. You can. And then, yes. and then who do I see on my Instagram Ralph story? Ralph Biscuits. Ashley Iconetti, yes. who's trying to sell me a, um, a fertility test. Oh. You guys haven't seen that? No. Um, you know they she's trying to sell, to sell you or sell everybody. Everybody. Well, yeah, because she's it's making. It's not on her story. It's an ad that right. they sent to me. Oh. 
yesterday. Oh, she's on the ad. And she's the ad. I see. Mm. And it was funny that Jared had, uh, had texted me. He's like, producer asked me questions about Roxy. I was like, yeah. hook her up. He's like, I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was awesome. So, yeah. He was messaging me in there. He's like, just be yourself. But it was interesting because hearing he went, did this whole Batman thing. Right, right. Uh, it was so not like that. That's, it was yeah. like, it felt like was casual Fridays yeah. in yeah. the office, you know? Right. Um, he sent me the nicest email. Afterwards? Afterwards. Oh, great. Uh, it was just so, so kind. And I, yeah, it was, the whole thing was lovely. Good. And they gave me a swag bag. I saw nice. that. With well, multiple she, she shirts du- and a tote. She duped me. <laughs> she duped me for a second because I saw her. She posted that this picture thing. On Insta. And I said, wait a minute. Did she get on? Yeah. And I, and I wrote her. I was like, this is you just getting a bag of something. She's like, yeah. I was like, damn yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That's not what happened. What happened? What I say? You called me immediately. I called, I called you. <laughs> you, 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 you called me and said, "What's this? What's this?" Uh, yeah. Like, what is that? Right. And you said, "Swag bag." That's right. Yeah. I texted. I just texted. I think I texted you Saturday. Maybe you, and all, three like, you. Yeah. Sats. all three of you. Sats. All three of you. Not to mention every single person I've ever known from the time I was five sent me <laughs> yeah. a text yeah. message. Yeah. I did not realize how popular the show oh, was. I know that sounds moronic, but yeah. like my cousins, Fan, my cousins, our cousins. Fans love it. My, oh, all the fans were messaging. If you look at the comments. On the thing, some of them really do. Some do. If you look at the comments on my oh. post, it was just like, I can't believe this. Right. This is amazing. And then some people were like, You are better than this. Move forward. <laughs> yeah, even better. I love uh, the people so that good. are like, You're better than this trash. And I'm like, uh, First of all, shut up. Second of all, <laughs> nobody's better than it. Third of all, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Like, <laughs> my, 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 my favorite was when we had. We had when Jerry was on. We had an amazing conversation all the way there. If you were just listening to the conversation, itself, great. Yeah. But I love my favorites were the worst, worst episode ever. Yeah. It's oh, the yeah. worst. They can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So it's good. I, I get a kick out of it. I, the bear. I pre- <laughs> prior to going into this audition, I was like, I'll do this for you, Christian. Yeah. And then you like. I'm doing never it. gonna go on this show. Right. After going into the audition, I was like, you know what? I might. I might do this. I yeah. might do this. Very nice. Say yes. To the to dress. Everything. Okay. Yes. To everything. Well, good. To so we'll, we'll find out. Do we you got, accept we, this rose? I did. Yeah, we got about a year before that happens, yeah. if, if if at all. But we'll figure it out. Uh, and like I said, if we don't like the guy you're dating, then he's, then gonna, he's him, gone. Yeah. He doesn't get a rose. Yeah, um, and I've got a weird picker, so we might not like the guy. Okay, we probably won't. Yeah. Yeah. But I like Ben. Ben was good. Yeah, Ben's great. Yeah. I've, I'm, I'm like 50-50. On ben. You should go. No, in. no, no. Oh. On, on my picker. On your picker. I've yeah. dated a lot of heroin addicts, so like oh. it like seems to be a thing. Remember, I dated that wow. crip for a really long time too. Okay. Would, would that, would, if you were the bachelor, would that be <laughs> would that be a requirement on the show? Then I don't know. Better they did ask. They're like, one. "What are you attracted to?" And heroin I was like, addict. "I heroin? oh god, don't let me be honest on this right. one." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You, no. Your first question, like on night one, is like go up to the bachelor and be like, "How serious are you about movie trivia?" And he's like, "Not really." Like, great. Yeah. Right, next yeah. question. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Am I gonna right. have to stay up till two in the morning quizzing? See, yeah. see a year yeah. and a half ago, that would have been probably the thing. Now it's probably the opposite because you see the way she's. I saw a whole big thing in the in the in the Facebook group yesterday in the Schmodown Facebook group about how even though, and this is a spoiler, too late now, aired on Friday. So if you don't want a spoiler for the match, turn it off. I've warned you. <laughs> Snyder, even though he lost. There was a lot of people who were, there, who were there in the front row saying, I watched what Roxy did. She is manager of the year. This whole conversation of what managers really do and what they don't do. And you could, you could see it. And, and Draco has made note of it. Snyder has talked about it. And I think now today it's a different conversation because you just you are you are so into the game. You know, what's funny is that Ben and I actually got into it in New York because we got into it as far as yelling at one another. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. What, uh, what well, is I thought you meant get into it like together, like watching it. And, and oh no, 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 no. We we beefed okay. because we were out at the bar on Saturday. Um, you were actually sitting next to me, but you were talking to your friend. Okay. I wanted to get you in the conversation, but I felt so bad for your friend at that point uh, yeah, because I, I just kept I kept bringing you into yeah. the Schmodown TK conversation. Yeah. So I he I was like I just love the Schmodown. I love these uh, these trips. I think they're amazing. Yeah. I love the live shows. I love managing. And Ben was like. Now you love the schmo down. <laughs> and I was like, no Ben. No Ben. I always loved the schmo down. Right. I didn't love coming home after 18 hour days and quizzing you for 2 hours at uh. night. And he was like, I think it was different then. You didn't you didn't love it as much as you love it now. I was like, I was in the schmo down before you, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I missed that. And you yes. got into yeah, the yeah. schmo down because of me. Yeah. That's where you like walk out. You're like, yeah, exactly. But he's but, like, you didn't always love it. I will say this: I've never gotten into like a funnier heated exchange until this past weekend. We're behind. We're like getting ready for the match, and somebody, I think, like Andrew Guy and I were talking about well, Bad I mean, Boys for Life trailer. A little bit right? of a spoiler, but that's fine. Yeah, they know who we're playing no, each other. No, I haven't announced that. Oh, okay. that's all. <laughs> anyway, 
uh, Robert Meyer he Burnett does, was we like... Don't, we still don't know who he's playing. There's yeah. a lot of people who show up to this remote right. yeah. Robert Meyer Burnett could have been was just like, talking to somebody. The, the Bad Boys for Life trailer was absolute trash, and I just turned and I was like, you shut the fuck was up. It, was this, was this like, on, was on no, air? No, no, oh, no okay. this is backstage. Oh. And I, ju- I like, and he like took a step back. I was like, you and fucking Campy, I think you're so great, Tucker. I don't know what this trailer is. And Byron Burnett was like taken aback. And, and Elliot's just laughing. I was like, you, oh, I, Star Trek. I make my own Star Trek movies. Look how much better I am. You, I know food. Were you really upset? Uh, no, I was getting. You were I, kidding. I was crushing him, and he yeah. was just like, huh. and, and I was like, I'm story. fucking with you. And he was like, oh, right. <laughs> like he I, didn't know what to do. He was. Yeah, he had gonna, never been say, like, was, come at. Well, I was gonna say that was extreme, but you're fucking around. I feel your energy inside me when Bad Boys comes up. Like I feel defensive over it. I bumped into our friend Sam Basher, and he was like, I did like the trailer, but the one part, and I was like, oh. Stop it, I liked it. <laughs> Just stop there. Like, like, Shut your mouth right now. It, it literally feels like I'm like nervous that Makuga is somehow bugging oh, the conversation. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, this is a test of our friendship yeah, if yeah. I do not like mm-hmm. squash this. We yeah. went we uh we went to a wedding on Saturday and Oh uh, really? Yeah, shocker. Shocker. And uh, it was amazing. Is that you, your first? What? You should get paid to go to weddings. By the way, point. the officiant of the wedding was Kevin Smith. Was it? Yeah. Oh, I uh, saw Tiffany awesome. was yeah, Tiffany was at the there, wedding too. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, this girl Emily and her husband Tom. Emily oh. is uh, uh, <laughs> Tiffany. Emily and Tom. Come Emily on, Christian. Emily, Emily is Tiffany's hairstylist, like stylist, oh, okay. and and we'll she did makeup, I think, for the Meghan Markle movie. And and, and she's and your she's Kevin's sty- Kevin Smith stylist for oh, been okay. a long time. She mm-hmm. came in with Harley Quinn Smith when she came in for oh. a How do you interview know her? Uh, through Candace and Joe. Oh, uh, my friends Candace and Joe. So okay. all of us went to the wedding. It was out in uh, like Malibu Canyon. Did they call Candy Joe? No. Joe Candy? Mm-mm. Fuck Joe it. Candy. Nah. Joe Candy. Uh, Do you want Joe Candy? Yeah. I want Joe Candy. Oh, I, well, she got Joe Candy. She got yeah. Joe Candy. <laughs> she also smoked me in uh, oversized connect four like five straight times nice. and it was a very fun wedding Kevin Smith was the efficient it was super super fun uh, great dance floor like one of the more fun wedding dance floors they had a violinist in the band oh, look at that. and Ooh. she crushed like there was at one point uh, and Amanda was like sitting out with a couple of her friends just talking and she came back in and I had sweated all, obviously all through my clothes and she was just like Ugh. And, <laughs> and I was like air violining with the violinist and she was like you have a lot of energy oh, yeah. and then this one wedding invite <laughs> this one girl like I think she was in the bridal party yeah. I'm not so she just comes up to me. She's like, "Who are you?" <laughs> and I was like, "What do you mean?" She's like, "Are you related or something?" I was like, "No, I'm friends with Tom and Emily." And she was like, "Are you like a dancer or something?" <laughs> right. And I was like, "It's like the Maria oh. Menounos party." Yeah, all exactly. Over again. Yeah. Same thing. So we came home. So uh, like you know, the car picked us up, and we got home to our apartment at like one one thirty, and we had so much energy from the wedding. And I poured myself a nightcap, and, and Amanda looked. And she's like, "Bad boys too." I was like, "Bad boys too." And we nice. threw both bad boys too. It's, like, right. it's do, that time of year. You, you will yeah. never leave that woman. Yeah, she, yeah, you guys yeah, together that's amazing. Today. Good stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, okay, they're perfect. And and it's true. It's you can tell the. I mean, it's, I, I laugh at you now. You're old, you because I'm um, never getting married. <laughs> not gonna happen. I go, dude. I've been you, mm-hmm. and, and I'm telling you. Remember this conversation? Yes. I, I said am. you will get married. No, nope, not gonna happen. And then Let find someone like this. Amanda, and there you go. What do you think about Ellis? No. You think yeah, Ellis no. will never get married? Different no, no. different shade of animal. Really? Yeah. Different shade yeah. of animal. You think Ellis will never get married? Maybe, but it's not it's not a, it's not something that it's It'll not, be it's like not a, a facade. This was a the, both. This was a facade that yeah. we didn't want to get yeah, married. Yeah. The, Do you think he'll ever have kids? No. No. I mean, if, if you adopted, think Ellis will never? I know I, I'm repeating myself. I but. think maybe with Double the possibility, up. and he's going to be in here at eleven o'clock. I know. I know. Oh, is he? Yeah, but what we, the thing is with Ellis <laughs> is that I think that Ellis could Ellis could wind up. Maybe marrying somebody down the line who has kids, and he'd yeah. be phenomenal because he's really great with kids. He's really, I mean, he's great with kids. But he, taking care of his own, no. He Why would, do you say that? It doesn't want not, not something he wants to do. Not yeah. something I don't think he could do. Not something that is. He's he comes from an Italian family. It's built in him. And he's going to be a good pops. He just he's going to be a good dad, and he's going to and he's a husband. And obviously, it, it, you could see it. It just at the time in 2012 wasn't even anywhere close. So Ellis just not it's just not a thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I can see it. But anyway, I I feel like Alice is gonna get married. That's that I would bet on. But I'm never, never say never, never right? That's, that's, that's a right never say never. Kids, like, I'll say never. Yeah, his own kids. It's like one of those guys that gets married in his fifties. Yeah. yeah, Ellis. Don't right. you guys I mean? just think, or even not marriage, like a long term partner? Maybe. I just don't see yeah. him being the guy Alone. who he's not Gollum. Yeah, or Smeagol or something, right? Yeah, I think. It's all by himself, just with, with just his TV, it's his ring. Pool. 
Oh, he's back, Seth. I have a family friend that does that. It's just a character. Just together forever, never wanted to get married, and he at 60, he finally got married. Yeah. And it was just yeah. to, he the, was with to the person he was with forever. To the person he was with forever. It's a never but uh, look, I want to move on a couple things that we should address before we get into movie news. The first thing is, um, really bummed about it. It happened. I know uh, I, Friday I wasn't. It's Thursday we made the announcement. Friday I wasn't here. wasn't feeling very well. Um, I'm the, sorry. The, yeah, the Arizona event that we were supposed to do. A lot of things. Uh, personally, some other things that just went down scheduling wise. It just it couldn't happen. Ellis did really didn't want to do the show without me. I knew that it just it. Things happened. We just couldn't do it. It wasn't an easy decision. It was a very hard decision. Um, and then because Thad and, and the team right away said, well, let's do a live stream. Let's do a throwdown instead. And that Because we, we don't want to lose the wild berries for Slate to the Party. And Late to the Party, ballers, they, they were like, we'll make it. We'll get to L.A. We'll do it. Same thing with Chance coming oh, in. Because they're Arizona-based. They're Arizona-based. Yeah. They were going to the, – the, both of that – it was like a hometown event for them. And now both Chance and Late to the Party are coming in just for the event on Saturday to make sure. So – and you can watch it. It's the uh, SchmodownLive.com. Not only can you get the tickets for the live stream for the SchmodownLive.com, there's a few things we're doing. This sh- tour shirt is on sale now, finally, the tour shirt. Um, and you can get that at SchmodownLive.com. But the other thing, and I just confirmed this with Thad, during the first round, uh, because if you're a $10 patron, you get any live stream we do. And last, it bumped up last month because we did two of them. We're doing two again. That's so awesome. we're doing Chance versus Bibiani in the main event. Wildberries versus late to the party in the in the undercard, and then we're doing a one-off on nine twenty-eight. I think we don't know the time yet. We'll announce it. First round matchup: Janine the Machine versus Mike Kalinowski. It's going to oh, yeah. be a, a we're going to do a live wow, stream. Oh, I hope she crushes. Come on, Janine. We're going to see. We're going to see. But I that, think everybody hopes that. Well, the winner will play uh, the winner I of. I love Mike Kalinowski. Yeah. I love I yeah. love him some days. I mean, I, I, I like I mean, a lot of fans like. Kalinowski. Yeah, but come on, if you, who are you going to root for in Janine versus Mike? Corru- like, corruption sort of. I think I think the Action <laughs> Army. He's my roommate in New York. Yeah. I know him yeah. better. I think the Schmodown. I think the Schmodown. If you look at fan bases, like little pockets. I think the Wild Bears have a nice pocket. I think right now the Action Army is the biggest pocket as far as fan base goes. They have right? a massive pocket. Right underneath them. Right underneath them is, is corruption. Yeah. Um, and so I, we'll see we'll see what's going to happen there with that match. But anyway, if you're a $10 patron, you can do it. If you just want to buy that particular live stream, it's theshmodownlive.com. And then the other big announcement I made is for Orlando. Orlando. And October 19th. So listen to this. This is what we're going to do. And I thought about this over the weekend. I was sleeping about it. And I, I was sleeping and I thought. I was sleeping, sleeping about, about it. it. Sleeping I was about sleeping it. and it popped into my head. And I go, wait a minute. What about this? So we this this theater f- seats a fair amount of people. I said as soon as we get the 500 tickets, I'm gonna do a Willy Wonka type raffle, and this is what I'm gonna do. So for anybody who lives in the southern, this yeah, you need to get a velvet suit for Orlando. I was thinking a purple about it. velvet. I was thinking about it. For anybody who lives in southern, yeah. uh, anybody who lives in Florida or even close to Florida, I live close. South Carolina, even, not even, Georgia, listen, Alabama. Not even, if you live here and you want a shot to do this, because people keep asking, how do you get into the Schmodown? Can I come? How do you get a chance to do it? Mississippi. Anyway, but listen. So here's what you do. After 500 tickets, that we, there's going to be a contest. There'll be a raffle. Everybody who gets a ticket to that event will be in the raffle. And then in the pre-show, four people will be selected to compete. If you win that fatal four-way, you will win a trip to Los Angeles, hotel, flight, and a match in the Schmodown. And the winner of that, you can take. You, by the way, you can take anyone you want as your manager, no matter who you want. It could be a player, nice. it could be a manager, whoever it is. I mean, you don't can be an idiot. You can choose. And uh, that, so that you? Uh, yeah, no. But just let everybody know. Once again, go to theshmodownlive.com, and this is your chance. You never been to it, you never watched one. Well, you can come out here, and you got a chance to meet the crew, do the whole thing, win, win a trip to Los Angeles, just to get that ticket. But Christian, you're com. saying anybody in it is in the raffle. Yeah. But yeah. what yeah. if they don't? Wa- what if they want to come to the show, but they don't want to compete? They, they can give it away. They can give it away. They can, give it away. They can so say, they, "I want my." If you have the golden ticket, that's that's a great example. Let's say you know somebody who's a great trivia player. Mm-hmm. Never watched a Shmona, has no idea. But you bring ten of your friends. Right, and then you bring that one ace in the hole, and the yeah. guy is like the next Rachel Cushing. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Cool. So it's like this is why this is an opportunity for everybody. And like you, you know, said, it's, a, it's opportunity to go to Los Angeles. First of all, it's awesome. It's like it's that it, we it's should have been package. doing this all along. Like yeah. it's a genius move. It's Thank you. it's awesome. Uh, if I was a Schmodown fan, uh, find it, a way to get. There. I would oh, find yeah. a way to get to yeah. Florida to hope <laughs> that my number gets pulled. This is like the lottery of lottery to finally like put your money where your mouth is and compete against these people. Like show that you can actually flex, not just in a fan league, not on Skype, on a stage in front of people. Because there's a lot of people out there I know that are good at trivia. Get in front of the lights. I don't care if it's in our small studio or if it's on a main stage that fail yeah. and fail miserably. I've 
this one up before. tremendously since I said we're already, yes. we're already like 290, and we need to get to 500 before the contest goes get into 500. play. I will say this. I think something cool, and we can talk about it off air if it's even possible. You bring the four people, and you throw me as the fifth one. If they can beat me, they can beat anybody because I'm the glass <laughs> Joe in the league. That's true. I can beat people. Like I, ha- I, I have good matches. If you can beat put me, I feel like, listen, five one. put me in the fatal well, we'll five see. Well, let's, let's see first. So once I'll again, you're in anywhere near. This is your opportunity to win a trip to Los Angeles and have one match in the Schmodown. It's the theschmodownlive.com. Get your tickets now. Uh, all right, before we move to movie news, I watched the Chappelle sh- uh, special. I hey. did, too. And good. it, it was I did too. It was exactly what I thought it was. Yeah. It was exactly what I thought it was. My wife did you like and I, it. I did like it. Okay. Um, my wife and I started watching it, and she, she, he opens up and he tells the thing about it, and he's talking about Anthony Bourdain, yeah. and she's like, okay, okay, and then she he starts telling the Michael Jackson thing. Oh, she gets yeah. up, walks away. Yeah. Right. Um, but she she said the same thing because we had a whole conversation. We t- I took her out for bir- for a birthday dinner, went out with friends, and we were talking about the Chappelle thing, and we had the same conversation we've had in this room many times, and she's like, well, I want to watch it now. And she walked up. She's like, I don't. She's like, he shouldn't be, you know, th- fired for anything. But I just, that's not for me. And I said, that, that's the mentality. There you go. There it is. That's the. Did mentality. you watch the epilogue? Uh, I missed the epilogue. I didn't watch the epilogue. Yeah, well, I, I'm the gonna, epilogue yeah. is my favorite part because yep. I mean, listen, I love his stand up. I think there were some parts yeah, yeah. where I, I kind of zoned out a little bit, and then there are some parts that I absolutely loved, and I, and I love Dave Chappelle. Um, but the epilogue is what I want from a stand up thing. It's like it's just him off the cuff, him telling stories yeah, about yeah, people, yeah. him doing that kind of stuff, like talking about Charlie Murphy and all that kind of stuff. Right. I and I love his crowd interactions, and I I understand he's he's a pure like written stand up when he does his thing. He doesn't do a lot of you know, like Patrice O'Neill had that special where he like fuck with the audience yeah. half, the, half the special. Uh, so the epilogue to me was was just absolute brilliance and genius. I could watch the epilogue anytime, anywhere. But I mean, if we're talking about stand up specials, best one in the last couple of years. It well, it's it, it's it just got people talking yeah. because there was mm-hmm. some stuff like I liked it, and I he's and I've always I think he's one of the best out there. He's not one of my favorites, mm-hmm. but he's definitely. I appreciate how brilliant he is. I pre- appreciate everything that he does, and the fact that he's so ballsy and takes a lot of chances. There was some stuff that I was watching. And I'm like, yeah, I don't agree with any of this, but he's going for it, and it's well crafted. It's Chappelle, and he's he, there's no fear. Yeah, there's no fear, and the way and he he knows that he knows the way that he's got to present the joke, what he wants to do with the joke. But Roxy, you saw it. Uh, what yeah. did you think? Uh, I loved it. Yeah. I again, I love him. I didn't like ha ha laugh yeah. much, um, as I usually don't with Chappelle. I did more with the Chappelle show as opposed to his stand up, which is, makes me more like, well, that was smart or, oh, interesting. Um, but I thought it was great. I thought it was less, uh, you, it was what you thought it was going to be. It was less what I thought it was going to so be. So you thought it was going to be way more controversial? Way more okay. controversial. Because even the stuff with Michael Jackson or Bourdain or whatever, I, I didn't feel like he was putting in his opinion as much as everybody else said he was doing. It was just the fact that he was talking about it and the way totally. that the culture is today. You 100%. Can't talk about shit. But the way that it was pitched to me was, you know, he really doesn't believe these men and, and makes a point for why they're lying about no, Michael Jackson. I was like, that's not what no, I gathered no, at all. So, you know, I. His point, his joke, his joke was the fact that he, even if they were telling the truth, and what he went to, and I was like, that's that's a crazy joke. Well, he says, yes. you know, ha- half the people joke. in the audience here have been molested. The most that you can hope for is that it's by MJ. Yeah. And I was like, that's fucking funny. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> that's what I said. That's what I said. Yeah. I was like, how are you laughing at that? I was like, because if you think about the premise itself, itself it's like, it's, yeah. I was like, I was mortified watching that HBO special. Mortified mm-hmm. watching yeah. it, but. Listening to his take on it, it's that's my that was the whole thing we talked about many times before. And what George Carlin said, yeah. anything can be funny. It's just whether or not you think it's funny. And his, people come at me like, "How can you laugh at that? You were the one that was so." An-. I'm like, guys, because it was funny. I, like it was like you were right. The premise of it, of the whole pre- thing, yeah. I, I can re- remove myself from the situation. That still doesn't take away from the fact that watching that documentary series was sickening. Yes, and it's also it's as also, he said, he said yeah. it was like having little little wee wee. But it's yeah. also the but it's also the way that he that he. That's what a, com- a comedian, a great comedian, can do. There is not someone else can take the same exact words that Dave Chappelle said, same words, and do that, and it's not funny. And fail yeah. miserably. And fail miserably because you're like, it's the it's the way his voice sounds, it's the way he moves his hands, it's the way it's it's like that's the type yeah. of thing you can do. Like same look, take Ellis's jokes, right? Ellis's exact jokes, you can't even you, you can't do them the same way. Even if you had them. Because it's a way that Ellis presents himself and the way that he times it and the way that he moves that is him. There are other people who steal jokes, obviously, and they can make it their own, but it's different, especially yeah. something like this. Mm-hmm. This is this is 
very few people can get away with it, and that's why he knows because it's that no fear thing. But to me, his funniest bit was LGBTQ. Yes, I oh, thought yeah. that was by far and oh, away his funniest. Funny. Yeah. Hysterical. Yeah. So because the conversation you had with that woman in the in the HR in the standards and practices, well, I mean, his, it's one of the oh, yeah. amazing. His I mean, punchline of that, yeah. or that, yeah. I was like, uh, my jaw. That was one of those moments where again, I'm not laughing. I'm like. Holy shit! Yeah. He's like this. Such an amazing storyteller. He's a great storyteller. Such so a great storyteller. It was a great special. Let me ask you guys a question so about it, about though, it. Yeah. Uh, that I was a little confused on. These are highly edited, correct? I guess. Mm-hmm. Because why? Why did he keep in the phone somebody's phone? Because he got a lot of laughs out of it. Yeah. Oh, you got okay. A lot of I didn't. Out of that. I uh, didn't think that was funny. So he did oh. it because it was. I, I, I think, think did he set that up on purpose? I, yeah, because he said he, he started because he no, I don't think he set it up. Oh, okay. I think here's uh, so there was a thing that I did a why I mean this is 2006 and I was in the middle of doing this particular joke that I did, and this waitress walks through, and drops a whole plate thing, and it, glass breaks. Yeah. But it was about old timey words and stuff, and yeah. I threw. I said, "Well, I'm flabbergasted that, that just happened." And yeah. it worked because it, you just get lucky sometimes. Right. Yes. You get lucky. Yeah. And he was able to play it, and you also know how to like spin it. And he spun. I did think that was very funny. Oh, like, okay. So when when the stuff started ringing, and he kept having those liners, but then he spun it back in. Mm-hmm. That just shows. And he probably they probably said, "Do you want to cut it down?" He's like, "Fuck it, leave it." Yeah. Oh, okay. Go, go okay. Yeah, yeah. I just didn't know if he like had planted that so that he could do those. No, like no, uh, no. most comedy specials, like Ellis's Night in Chicago, he does two shows. He takes either he took one. Full Full show, or like because of the noise from right. you know Johnny Jump Band and the assholes. Uh, he Great had work band, with, by the way. Yeah, sick band. They, uh, their number one single, Fart I, Tower. Yeah, Fart Tower. Yeah, that's Party at the Fart Tower. Party at the Fart Tower. <laughs> <laughs> Who's doing fault in the fart uh, tower? Uh, 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 uh. I remember. Okay, it was good. 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 Uh, but like Bill Burr, when he talks about his first Ace Beer special, which today, like, what's Ace Beer special? Ace Beer special. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bill Burr's HBO first HBO special is my favorite comedy special all time of anybody mm-hmm. ever, and he did it over two nights, and he was like, to be honest with you, they took the entire second night. Like that was it, and they, yeah. he's like very little was edited out of it, right. all that kind of stuff. Kind of just depends on the special. It depends on, this, on on yeah on the set, but that particular thing, I, no, definitely wasn't a plant. Just he, because yeah. I thought it was pretty funny. Like anyway, the, so just the way that it rang yeah, well, that, sounded that was, fake. Yeah. It was like a, it was like I thought it was just music it's playing in playing, the background. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I'm yeah. asking. Yeah, so maybe it was my mindset because I guess part of it was a little funny, but mm-hmm. I was like, what's happening right yeah. now? Right, yeah. you were thrown off. Well, only because it you guys know this is yeah yeah, and that was a bummer to me because he was in such a flow, and then I was like. Get back to it. God, wait, yeah. what, what's happening? The um, I, speaking of like comedy and everything, I watched that movie Late Night last night. The one with Mindy Kaling and uh, oh yeah, yeah. I, was, I, I haven't seen that. that. Ben says top great. five Terrible. of the year. Ten out of ten. Oh, ten yeah. Out of ten. Yeah. Ben literally said top five of the year. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. raving about yeah. it. I, I couldn't tell you how much I liked that movie. Wow. Like it was. Who's the? Is it Emma Thompson? Emma Thompson, Mindy Kaling, John Lithgow plays Emma Thompson's husband. It's on the Blu-ray. Uh, right now. Yeah. Oh, well, it's on Amazon Prime. It's on it's Amazon, for, Prime. Oh, on Amazon Prime. We watched it last night. Amanda and I both finished. Like I can't tell you how much I liked that movie. I was like, me too. Okay. Well, I watched the affair again. Big affair guy. Uh, yeah, I am. For season one, big one of the okay. great seasons, and it's just been kind of. This is the last season. Is La- it Dextering? It's not Dextering, but it's like they weren't focusing on a lot of the main characters now, and I, they, I like Anna Paquin is mm, in it, uh, and it's, I like her. Yeah. I like her too, but I want to see where they're going with her storyline, and I, I, I thought it was okay yeah. last night. Last night's episode was okay. She's my buddy. I like Anna Paquin. Anna Paquin. I, when she had that show on WGN America, I did like thirty-five interviews with her. She freaks me out. She's she reminds great. me of my ex-girlfriend. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it freaks me out. Which one? Time. The one that yeah, about you? One. I Thank turned you. I turned Roxy onto a show, which is a very new show, and it's quickly turning into like must-watch TV for me, so which good. is. Billy. So uh, on what happens in Central Florida, no, I'm becoming on, a pr- god, oh, god yeah. in Central Chris, Florida. I, looked at I can't I can't get the name right to the, save my life every time. I'm becoming a god, god in Central Florida. Florida. It's so. Where is it? I will say Otherwise this. Otherwise, Josh is getting a ticket in Orlando. Oh! Oh! Josh, I. <laughs> there you go. I was waiting for it. I did not appreciate the pilot that much. Oh. I was like, the pilot was good. It was fine, and uh, and I was like. Crazy ending to a pilot. Yeah. Yeah. The ending was like, okay, I guess I'm gonna watch the second episode. Right. And then I watched the second. I was like, okay, that was still good. The, okay. By the third one, I was like, holy crap! Right, oh, I'm so in. Right, you love it. Do you we know browsed, the premise we, of the show? No, I don't want to know. Okay. okay, I don't want to know I pr- uh, because I, I browsed around last night. Saw it's not, is it Netflix or is showtime. It, it's showtime. showtime? Okay, because we were gonna you watch have that. The, you watch the affair, which is yeah. on showtime. Yeah. But you know, it's it. Kirsten Dunst. Yes, yeah. yes, and I like her. Uh, what favorite Kirsten Dunst role? Can't say vampire. Go. Uh, Can't say bring it on. Vampire? Yeah. Oh, okay. Bring it on. Virgin Suicides. 
I mean, duh. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I know every word. Eternal Sunshine Spots. Uh, she's great. She's really she's good, good man. Yeah, she is. I'm, I'm sexy. I'm cute. I'm popular to boot. I'm bitching. Great hair. The boys all love to stare. They want it. I'm hot. I'm everything. You're not to t- t- Torrance. You're Captain Torrance. You should have done that for your interview. Yes, eventually. you should have. Damn it. Oh, man. Yeah. I will say this. I, we, Roxanne were talking about on TV talk last week, and I said, listen, you have to watch the show because I'm like, I, I, Kirsten Dunst has made Kirsten. one of the. Kirk, it's. Kirsten. Today it's Kirsten. Oh, it's Kirsten. I, I feel like it is Kirsten. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, Kirsten Kirsten, Kirsten. Kirsten Dunst uh, has made this unbelievable transition in her career from, like, f- you know, filler. It's Kirsten. Floppy, whatever. It's Kirsten. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, like the leading lady in a Spider Man movie, kind of just yeah, like yeah, this, yeah. whatever, to this unbelievable powerhouse character actor. Yeah. Yeah. Her, her She's got in braces, Fargo. Yo, yeah. and it's epic. She's great in her okay, in I'm Fargo watch. season two is some of the best acting you'll ever see. But, and then her in this show is fucking oh fantastic. So I did tweet about it though. So, Christian, because you have more Florida ties, you might be annoyed. I guess a lot of Florida people don't like her accent. Oh, I don't care about that. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's great. Okay. And also, I don't know if we're confirmed in it where she's actually from from. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Well, she's from, from there because yeah. of the high school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I, I'm going to check that out for sure and did watch that tonight, finishing up the uh, – because I think there's like two more episodes of the, the BIP. So we'll finish that Is up. Is this the final two? I think week? so. Maybe they'll no. the final four. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, and then there was other shit. Did, Jeopardy what's season thirty six starts tonight. I knew that. I knew that. I had my DVR 36, set. Um, what's uh, what Alex B. is coming out this weekend? I know that uh, Ed Astra is coming out. Oh, is that Astra? Astra. Ad Astra. Ad Astra. I, I Ed Astra. Astra. I call Are you Ed, going Ed tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, Thursday. Thursday. Me too. Actually. Yeah. Did you get Rambo screening yet? No. Did that come in already? I don't know. No. No. Just ask. Don't talk to me. No. I'm staying. Oh, All right. So here we go. So this we have Hustlers. I guess is coming out. Hustlers. What's the sound? That's the, the J-Lo one. So Ash is next week, and so Rambo is also. Oh, and right, the Goldfinch. So Goldfinch is, is tomorrow. That's what is that? what What's the Wolf. Goldfinch? Which one's that? What? That's, That's the, the one with the, the painted Culkin. man and, and I did think I get the, did I get the uh, it's like Ansel it says right there. Yeah, I see it. Did you get Fair the, uh, oh, I did get, I did get the screening for this. Goldfinch got it just, crushed it. Just, at, uh, yeah, it did get. And I was thinking it was going to be one of the best movies of the year, and it got fucking. Poo-poo. It came out in the beginning of September, so that's usually poo-poo. Um... Okay. Aww. Well, we'll see. All right. And I went to screening for that one, the Goldfinch. Tomorrow. That's on tomorrow. All right. Maybe I'll do that. Where is that? I don't, don't tell me. Okay. Don't tell me near, near us. Where is it? Don't tell me. Near, Shut up. Tell me. Make closer, it a surprise. Closer to us. Okay. Fine. Because <laughs> I realized when I asked, I said, we're on the air. I want to know what you're going to do for birthday. Don't tell me. I don't want to Do you want to come with me? Perhaps. Okay. We'll, we'll see. Talk. Okay. Listen. Um, I, one last thing before we move into movie news oh, is no. that I announced this, and Ellis and I will talk about it a little bit more. Hmm. Going to have a few announcements. On the movie trivia showdown channel, we're doing a live stream. Me and Ellis and Brett Sheridan. I saw that. Wow. Two p.m. tomorrow. Two p.m. PST. So after you watch this show and you listen to this show and you do all the uh, downloads and all that stuff, come join us over at the movie trivia showdown at two p.m. PST for some pretty big announcements and a little. What little are you going to say? You have to watch it. Tomorrow. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, movie news. Movie news. Movie news. Movie news. Yeah, what we have got? a box office report. It chapter Ooh. two, as you know, did come out. It didn't quite hit uh, the 123 opening. You can't but make a horror movie for two hours and 45 minutes. You correct. Just can't do that. 91 million it opened domestic. However, worldwide, it made something like uh, 178 okay. or something. It did very well worldwide. Right. You know what else did? Mushietti's favorite. You know, you know uh, 185 did actually. Uh, Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah, did very well. It's like yes. 700, 800 million. So shut up, Tyrese. Yeah. Stop yeah. talking. I don't know why. 800 I mean, million I do. dollars, whatever it is. I, stop I, talking. Later, I legitimately am getting to the point where I can't stand yeah. it. Stop talking. I want to get, I, I can't wait for Hobbs and Shaw to come on TV because, like, this past weekend, I was just flipping through watching some, like, you know, I have all those movie channels. So I like, I'm like, oh, I'll stop here, I'll stop here. To the point yesterday morning, because Amanda and I were nursing a nice wedding hangover on Sunday morning, she was like, how many movies are you going to stop and just watch 10 minutes? I was like, well, I just watch 10 minutes of Goodfellas, right, right. 10 minutes of Too Fast, Too Furious, 10 there minutes it is. of is. I can't it. wait for Hobbs and Shaw to be that movie. To do that. God, well, I love look, it. so 91 million, it, Chapter 2 has made, obviously, worldwide. Angel Has Fallen, 53 million. Is, was, I gotta tell you Angel Has Fallen was excellent. Dude, was, look at Good Boys. so excellent. With 66 million. Yeah, okay. that probably, that probably right? cost anything. Good. Okay. Uh, the Sorry. Lion King made 529. Hobbs and Shaw domestic? 64. Yeah. yeah, Overcomer, I don't know what that is. Do you think Hobbs and Shaw will do more than Bad Boys? Guys, look at our peanut butter. Falcon on there. 12 million, there it is. man. That's good money. Yeah. That's good money. I'm so excited yeah, for man. them. What were you asking? Did you see that? Do we think that Bad Boys for Life is going to do more than Hobbs and Shaw? No. No. Because of The Rock? 
The Rock, and it's just it's not as relevant mm. anymore. I'm sorry, buddy. No, I get it. There's a, there's a chance. It's really good. I don't think so, but there's a Still chance. It's business. not out of the question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I think you got it. International chance. Will Smith. You I mean, think you got does. a chance to make 164? Yeah, yeah, I do. I Will, Smith. It, Will Smith. Will Smith. Look at the land. I said but I know that's Disney, and that's a little bit different. But Look if it's good, Wilson. yeah. If it's good, Will Smith. I mean, listen. I said it was going to make 450 million opening weekend, which is you know yeah. uh, understatement. Accurate. Uh, but you know, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we'll see. I hope. I, I wish nothing but the best. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> good luck. Thank you. All right. Um, I'm counting on you. All right. What's next? <laughs> good luck. <laughs> what's next? Uh, we have the. Uh, Writer and showrunner has been hired for the new Hawkeye series, and it's a Mad Men alum. Ooh. And that is, yeah, it's uh, Jonathan Igla, Igla. Do you know? I would say Igla. Igla has been tapped to both write and executive produce. Isla. Isla! <laughs> Hi. Want to say that again? Igla? No, no, no. Just finish with the story. <laughs> I- Igla. Isla! Isla. I. I see. So what? I- Igla. So that's it. Okay. So he is hired to write. <laughs> All right. Ikla? So Ikla. Ikla? Ikla? Hello, this, Ikla. This man has yes. worked his entire life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whole life. Whole life. He uh, came on the third season of uh, uh, AMC's uh, uh, Mad Men. Ikla? And he took over, and now he's uh, he's coming on to do the Hawkeye. Ah. Uh, uh, Ikla? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ikla. Hello. Uh, I'm with Roxy. This Mr. man's been Mr. working Mr. all of his Mr. life. He's wanted this forever. Mr. Wanted this forever. Mr. 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 Professional. Ikla! Leroy! <laughs> 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 you know, it's good having Cody back. Ikla! <laughs> oh, man. You should get uh, Maisie to start just going, walking and going like, Ikla! And fuck Ikla! Yeah, Ikla! <laughs> <laughs> That's just fun to scream. I know it is. Igla! Igla! I'm with you on this one, Roxy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want Jonathan. Igla? 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 What if he comes in, he's like, it's actually pronounced Igla? And we're like, ah, oh, farts. Igla. Igla. Or the G is silent. Who Igla? is writing Igla? that script? Igla! <laughs> Igla! <laughs> Jonathan! Probably Igla. went to school, Igla. spent a lot of money on that <laughs> degree. Yeah. Hello, Igla. Hello. And the sad part about rooms. this, Roxy, is Mr. that's Igla. really all the news there is. There's <laughs> nothing else to talk about. Igla, party of nothing two. Nothing to talk about. Igla, party of two. Igla? 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 <laughs> 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 all right. So, hey, Riley, who's, who's the showrunner of Walk On? <laughs> of what? Oh, it's oh, Igla. Uh, Igla. 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 All right, what's next? Um, um, uh, <laughs> 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 That's what's nice. The show's igla, over. The igla, the igla, igla. I got the igla, igla, the igla, the igla. Coming yeah. down the stairs on Bachelor in Paradise. It's igla. <laughs> you know, I was really going to give my rose to Franklin, but instead I gave it the igla. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's next? <laughs> What I'm do you trying think to that Igla there. thinks of that 91 million from it, chapter two? Igla? He liked it. He likes it. He likes Igla. Igla. Okay, <laughs> next. What's next? <laughs> well, this is a name this that's not going to get everybody Igla? back. So, uh, Igla? there it is. Yeah. According to Variety, we have Tom Hanks coming on to do another biopic, and he's going to play the uh, creator of... Uh, Hazmat. So. No. Uh, <laughs> Igla. Mattel. Mattel. Oh. Oh. Played Mattel. Oh. Boy, yeah, Major a Matt Mason. He-Man movie made. Matt yeah, right. Mason is yeah. the guy's name? Yeah, Matt Mason, Tom Hanks. Do you have a problem with his last name? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, <it's> not, <laughs> Mason I just figured, or? Oh, I want you to stop what you just Mason? said right there. First I, of all, no one has a problem with the eagle. He, oh. is, he, is, he mm. should be in that series with Kirsten Dunst about <laughs> the god because he is now a god in Clyde He Lyle. sure is. Mm. Uh, no, I, I, I was just figured the guy's Lyle. name was Dave Lyle. Mattel. Yeah, like, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's Mattel. Sean Mattel. Yeah, Sean Mattel. Sean Mattel. You know Sean Mattel. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's, it's a, not about it's It's oh. actually Major Matt Mason toy backstory. The Major Matt uh, Mason oh, so toy was also a company. I did. It right. was accompanied by alien and villain toy characters back in the day. At this stage, the movie's development is so, possible. Some of those toys may be adapted. So you're telling me there's no real big news stories out there right now. Yeah, I'm okay. really, really yeah, kind of hedging my bed here. Are you fucking kidding me? What's wrong? He's Igla. Black. I know. He's big story. I know. Well, the biggest news is what you know what we're going to talk about later. Yeah. We can talk about it now. Yeah, we Ellis can talk about it because Ellis is here. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Joker won Venice. The whole thing. It's Golden big. Line. It, that's a big, big win here for a it comic is, book movie. It, well, yeah, because it's uh, – out of all the buzz it was getting, 
out of the fact that, you know, they were changing it up, making it very different. The trailer looks like a damn Scorsese movie in general, right? And now all this buzz, the, the, the big ovation that it got, you know, and, and this, is a big, this is a big deal. This, this now you start to go into, this is going to be one of the big talks of the town now for, for the Oscar, right? Oh, God, yes. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to get nominated. Everybody's, the performance across the board, it, huh? everybody's already talking about it, and this probably will get nominated for yeah. Best Picture. Well, what Dorian said when he was in here uh, about, and what I did not know is that He's like in almost every frame of the movie. Yeah, yeah. Like that's, I mean, right then and there. It's like, holy well, shit, that's ball. Smart though, because yeah. if it's his movie, what? That's like the self-centered nature of the Joker, right? And his world and what's happening to him and how this is all happening to Character him. Character study yeah. piece. Yeah. I tell you, yesterday I saw It Chapter Two in theaters. Oh. The trailer for Joker after it ended, arousing applause. Yeah. Just people were it's clapping. Like a buzz, man. Nobody clapped Big for this buzz. Rise of Skywalker trailer except me. Oh, is it? A, it the, was like it was like silent. I'm like whoa. Really? Yeah, wow. yeah. I was excited, of course. Joker, though, my God, people were like really Different clapping audience, at it because audience, yeah. it was the latest trailer, which was the really good trailer. Yeah, so yeah, people yeah. got it. This one where he's laughing like a lunatic in the back. Yeah, yeah, look at that. I love that. I was just thinking about like you. You're on set, and you're that lady who's looking oh back God. at him. You don't really have to act. No. You know, at that point, you no. just react, yeah. mm -hmm. and that's the whole. That's the best act. Acting is reacting. And, you know, like uh, <laughs> because I was one of the main stars of uh, We Own the Night. Right, uh, of course. Yeah. You know, yeah. great, and he great was great yeah. Thank you. Can't believe yeah. you weren't nominated. I know. Thanks, man. Um, really was. I will. I will say this. Uh, of the, I was. I think I was on set for like four or five days, right? And it was a, a big, massive scene, so it wasn't like a, you know a, a character study, whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, the everybody, all the PAs, all like ads, everybody was like, listen. Saying it to the extra, saying to everybody else, do not touch or talk to Mr. Phoenix. And mm. and on the call sheet, it's his character's name. It's not Method. you know Joaquin Phoenix. It's J like on um, right. on uh, Walk the Line. He just JR. locks in. He locks in. You don't mess with him. He's in his character like the whole time. It doesn't matter where and when it is. Uh, that and so seeing like stuff like this, Joaquin Phoenix. There aren't many actors. It's like him, Jared Leto, uh, Christian Bale. Method, you're saying yeah, like Daniel Day Lewis. Like, yeah, yeah, Daniel Day Lewis. That go this full method that like yeah. scare people to the point right. of being like, holy shit, this is the person. Yeah, but even Jared Leto's, I felt it like, was a front. Like, you're really going to send people. Yeah, it seemed like he was trying to get away stuff. with it. The, yeah. It's like, oh, I'm in character. I don't, it's like, oh, I don't lump yeah. him in with I, that. I, I, okay. I, I understand I hear what you're you, saying. I, I do, yeah. but yeah, but I'm with you on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be hanging out with Igla outside. I sent her a dead <laughs> rat with a condom yeah, on its head. I just Why? don't see because Joaquin the doing that. Right. I, and, yeah. I think his is more about like the performance than exactly. it is like the whole you know. And yeah. Jared's, I don't think was. No, I think it was to be a douche. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. but this was. But no, you're right. It's like when you walk in that said, he's Arthur. I yeah, yeah, I want to see. I want to hear of some of the backs. You know, the behind the scenes stories from this movie of how crazy it was yeah. with him as this. Because yeah. you got to get to a dark place. The buzz. Is, the buzz is insane for this yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do wonder though. So, uh, even if this movie is the absolute best possible version of the Joker movie that it could be, and even if I think it could be nominated for uh, adapted screenplay or for, for best actor, I wonder if this movie could be nominated for best picture. Got to see it. No, yeah, I'd have to see yeah. it. I'd have to see it for sure. But I, I do wonder because I, don't, I can't think right now of any version of this movie that would make me feel that way. Well, I mean... I I think that I would have been on that wavelength had I not seen the trailer. I'm like, oh, there, this doesn't look like a comic movie at all. No. It looks like a Scorsese film. Well, it's, yeah. not, because Straight of, up. it's not because comic book, yeah. but because uh, the other Joaquin Phoenix movies that I've seen where he, like, um, what, or, I won't get far on foot or whatever. Oh. What was last year? It was never really here. I oh, saw right, him in, like, right, three right, different right, things right, last yeah, year, yeah, whatever yeah. it was. Uh, I just feel like this in tone will be similar to an effed up, delusional, yeah. messed up world. And for me, those those stories that don't hit my core are not... The performance will probably get recognized and not the movie. I think. That's what you're saying? Uh, maybe the screenplay as well. Yeah. Well, here's, a, here's the past winners okay. from the Golden Lion for the Venice Film Festival. Okay, tell uh, me. The Shape of Water, right. Brokeback Mountain, okay. The Wrestler, okay. Lost Caution. Right. I've never heard of that one. So, you know, it's in good company. It's so good the, company. these are some good, like, kind of pinpoints to look yeah, to. Yeah, man, I think... Uh, Last year's winner was my favorite movie. And Roma. Year. Roma. Oh, yeah, there you go. You love, love Shape of Water also, oh, don't you? I love both those movies. Mm -hmm. Two of my favorites all time. <laughs> what I'm hoping happens, because this has never happened, obviously, is that you have someone who won for playing the Joker in Best Supporting, and then you have someone who won in Best, best Actor. Actor. Playing the Joker. That would be Could happen. Very, Incredible. very interesting and awesome. Um, okay.
Well, cool. That's Let me ask you a question. I'm sure oh, I'd love to hear it. Sure. We maybe brought this oh, up yeah. before, but like, if this is so good that what and he was never he hasn't wanted to do it. Does he go into a Batman movie, or is this just? I don't think so. I think I think this is a one off. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a one off. I, think I mean, that's a. From. I don't know how you would at this point because we have the Batman. Yeah. W- what you would do? You're saying plug him in with with Bob Pat Pattinson. Pattinson. Yeah. yeah. But it's also a very different, different time, time period. period. Or is it? Well, this is the 80s, right. and they've talked about... Younger Batman. Right. A- actually, mm-hmm. it could, could end be. up being... Because Wonder I Woman think, 1984, right? Yeah. Well, yes, but that is different because we've seen her... I-, I don't know, actually, because yeah. since we've seen Ben Affleck in current day, and we've seen Gal Gadot in current day, and now and then we've seen her a, a century ago, and now we're... we're or what, however many years ago, mm-hmm. and now we're seeing her in the yeah. 80s. I just don't think he... Yeah, I don't think he wants anywhere to do with franchises. Because that's what he. I that's why like, he didn't do Doctor Strange. No. He didn't want to do like multiple pictures, yeah, multiple not, like because he would. That's his life. Yeah. This is this is a one off. Um, he. They have talked about a sequel. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Phillips uh, has. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Phillips has. He. Well, he said. Is he locked in to do a sequel. Maybe they locked him into one sequel. Uh, Maybe they locked He him did in. not say that. Yeah. But what he did say was, I have thoughts on it, and mm. I would love to work with Joaquin on a sequel to this movie Does if Joker he would. Make- uh, over 115 million for Oof. opening weekend. Opening weekend? No. No. No, it's too. It's over 100? No, I would say right around. 65, 70. Yeah. I, really? I think it could hit 80. I was going to say 80. But I don't think more than that. I would, say, I would say 70. 65 is actually a good guess. I think it's just a little too dark for people. I think I think the hardcore comic book fans but, are going to go out and see it, but I mean, I don't know. It's not a, but it, I mean, it chapter two did 91 mil. Different. I think it's a little different because because that that's it's coming off of that it's huge, huge first huge movie. One, okay. And then okay. it's also be- if you if there's a movie called Joker, do you think that the majority of the public thinks that it's a movie, a uh, comic book? Movie? I think they think about it at first because the Joker is pretty synonymous with that, and they go, "Well, what, is it about the actual Joker, or is it just called Joker?" No, it's about the actual Joker. I think that's the conversation. That, they, they I had remember. that conversation yeah. with my mom. She's right. like, she's like, "Have you heard about this Joker?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And she's like, "Is that the next Batman movie?" Right. And I go, "Nope, it's just right. the villain." And she's like, oh, "I don't know if I'm gonna see that." Mm-hmm. Right. And I'm like, "All right, well, definitely- I heard good things." That's the whole thing. Yeah. The whole thing is that. Can the majority, not, so not us, not this bubble that we're in, not the fans that are watching here today. I'm but the, my sister. But the, yeah, the hardcore audience Good out call. there, do they want to see a movie about the greatest villain? My parents wouldn't them? go see this. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, um, and that's why I don't know if it's going to cross 100. Because yeah. you need you need people like your parents and other people to oh, see. Yeah. People don't realize that. You want to cross in. Because your dad will go see Hobbs and Shaw. Oh, for sure. Right. Because it's simple, it's an easy. Yeah. That's simple. You know, what I'm saying like, it's yeah. just like it's He's fun. Go, you throw popcorn in your mouth and, and watch it. My dad loves Captain. He loves the superhero movies. Yeah. He does because they're they're you know they feel like a comic book. Right. This, this, this is, no, this is going to catch on. This is going to catch on on uh, from because of the awards. Uh, then when it comes out on cable or whatever, to people, right. this is going to be a very big movie though. Oh, this is going to sure. be a huge movie. I agree. Um, okay, so that's everything else going on in the news. Nothing else, right? Well, there's uh, well, uh, Wesley Snipes did confirm he's playing the villain in Coming to America Two on the on the red carpet. What's now? What's the villain? Yeah, yeah he, is, like, is he, so he is. So he is the general. general. He is the general of an African nation that neighbors Zamunda. Oh, okay. Uh, so Same. there's going to be. Yeah, I like that. I like it. It's so funny though, too, because. Uh, Wesley Snipes, people don't realize, because he, after he did a bunch of movies later, you, and he wasn't taken as serious. But he's he a really went to jail great, for a while. Yeah, so. but I mean, but he was a really great actor. New Jack like, City is fantastic. What did he go to jail for? Uh, tax taxes. Taxes. Yeah, yeah, but he was. Uh, I remember that. He was so good in Major League. He's oh, so oh good in that God. movie. William Ace Hayes. He's amazing. So good. Just watch that movie again, and he's just so. F- Fucking good! I love yeah. uh, him in that movie. And then when he, and I, nothing against Omar Epps. I like Omar Epps, but it just didn't work the, the, the same way when they replaced. Yeah, once he got into like the action franchises, really kind of, kind of, I got hot at the beginning. Now then I lost that. No, no, Omar Epps. Oh, oh, you think Omar Epps is really hot? Really hot. He got really hot, or <laughs> he just, he just, he's just, he's just in general. Just he's hot. Yeah, <laughs> totally fair. Totally. I didn't know I said that loud. He's, <laughs> the, he's the awesome Igla of the do. Epps family. Cool. Um, good talk. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But like. Well, Riley, maybe, maybe you should, because like we, we, you know we got offered him to come in. Are you being serious? 100%. And 100%. you said no? We, we did, no, we didn't say no. We, we got, he's, him and uh, there's somebody else. Oh, and uh, Jamie, Jamie Kennedy. Jamie Kennedy. Yeah. So, you know what? I have always thought he's yeah. really Okay, so we should, look at you. You're blushing. I think he's All right. really All right. I'm making Omar Epps or Jamie Kennedy. Kennedy. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. Dane, Dane Cook or Omar Epps? Uh, I mean, no, no, totally different, because uh, uh, no, Dane no. Cook to me is not, like if we're playing... F- Fuck kill Mary, yeah. then I'm marrying Dan Cook and I'm fucking Omar. Oh, well, look at you! There and you're is. killing Jamie Kennedy. Not cool, Roxy. That isn't cool. You're right. Send uh, send Omar Epps' rep that clip, please. 
<laughs> yeah, you, that will get him on I the will. show. I'm going to fuck him, man. Uh, <laughs> right, he's, a married, he's a married man. Is so more reps loving basketball? Yes. 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 I, thought, yeah. I watched that movie probably 400 times growing wow. up. I loved well, that movie. It's a good movie. Oh, I thought it was the USC, sexiest right? movie. USC, They go to USC, don't they? I, I, yeah, I think so. That was before I went there, so now yeah. I don't even remember. No. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. I always you know thought that was so sexy. By the way? Uh, Florida State. They, they sure do. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah. USC, man, though. Whew. Florida State. Fight on, baby. Uh, one, uh, one point, they, they win in, in sudden death against uh, a, f- a very farty team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not very good. Um, yeah. It's fine because the Patriots are incredible. A giant stink, yeah. too, by the way. Yeah. Giants think very bad. Yeah. Um, the Steelers yesterday. are terrible. Oh man, what a I'm sorry about Patriots. yesterday. That was that was that, that was, was brutal. Tough. Yeah. yeah, that was brutal. Yeah, yeah. one of the. Compliment. I didn't even text you any uh, yeah. shit talk. I was no, like, I don't. I was I gonna, and I don't text anybody shit talk because I hate when people do it to Dude, me. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the fans that do it the most. Yeah. Did Brown play? The Patriots fans. It, yeah. No. We have no, the best. Oh, we have yeah. the best and the worst fans on the entire planet, and I get it. A hundred percent. Yeah, I wanted to like, compliment your hat, and then I realized what the hat was, and I yeah. said, I'm not going to compliment that. No, yeah. yeah, I mean, I didn't do it to rub it in the hat. I just don't like the hat. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, I love I think hat. you look hideous. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. I'd like to kick the hat yeah, across absolutely. the street, but I, yeah. but I yeah. think, unfortunately, you look good enough. If, but if, I hate thank it. You. If, it didn't, if it didn't kill you, I would light your head on fire. Oh, right? yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you so much. Maybe it wouldn't. I mean, we don't talk about this stuff on the show very often, but go to commercial. I am curious about your guys' AB thoughts. What? Antonio Brown? You, no. you gave our thoughts on it last week. You did anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's oh, just, I, I, there's a live sports time that I think Ellis is coming on that too, where I'm sure I will go rant on it. But Ellis it's just it's me. such a it's such a, a piece of shit millennial thing of like I don't get what I want, and then the fucking uh, spoiled parents, the New England Patriots, are like, we'll give you 15 million, and then yeah. we'll, we'll solve the case. And it's he's just, he's just an asshole. He screwed over a Steelers franchise. He screwed over a Raiders franchise. And I hope that I hope that he goes to New England and totally fucks up their whole season because they deserve it, and he deserves. <laughs> it and everybody else deserves it that would would want to employ that man because you know what dude like you you imagine somebody telling you stay off instagram and we will pay you 30 million dollars and he's like nah man like i'm more than that i'm, I'm like it's my thing and he loses 30 million and then boston's like and it was such collusion too because I'm, Ooh, I'm it's like a great word collusion. collusion yeah great word because what fucking team two minutes after he gets released from the raiders has a contract in place bunch of jack old ma- mass holes they're like finally go, we don't need but we'll uh, get everything hey, it's assholes. just the worst <laughs> but, but, it's the did, worst did you ever tell so us that? So I told that story so oh, you're <laughs> the ruining football this was so good we'll, we'll bring that up when he's on TV. he had a great yeah. WWE tweet, the, the tweet. Um, this is uh, this, uh, we didn't talk so about good. this so uh, maybe we did Megan who is uh, you know runs our, our live event. Yeah, maybe we do. Do we talk about? It? I don't know if we. I don't do. think so. It's so so good. she's running. Like we're in New Ma- York. Oh yeah, we're in New York. When Megan's running the show, it's just move smooth. So if you've been to a live show and you go to the the VIP or the meet and greet in the beginning, and you ha- and you see the woman who's taking the pictures and say, like, "Great guys, thank you." That's Megan. She's so great. She keeps everything. She's here during the shoot date. She's yeah. awesome. So she tries to get it going like quick. So at the very end, when people are coming up and taking pictures of the whole crew. There was it was Roxy and Snyder and so this guy comes up and he goes, Hey, I want to take a picture with my fellow mass holes, right? So he's like, All right, mass holes and so Megan doesn't really hear it. She goes, All right, hey assholes. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> thought he said I want to take a picture of the asshole. <laughs> and she goes, Hey assholes, right? And Not wrong. It could work. We, Roxy and Arden's looking at each other cracking up. And she just she said, Okay, so, assholes. It was ready? so good. She's like, Hey assholes. Yeah. Uh, it was so good. <laughs> Oh, I love assholes, it. eyes on me. All right, speaking of assholes, Ellis is going to be in in just a second here. So we are going to go to break. When we get back, Mark Ellis will be in studio talking about it, his stand-up special and some other cool stuff he's got going on after the break. Hey guys, it's Perry here to let you know that Movie Talk is moving. We've had a great time in this 3 p.m. Pacific slot, but guess what? We want you to start your day with Collider Movie Talk, so we're moving. 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. It's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to get a longer show with some brand new segments. So tune in starting Monday, September 16th, 9 a.m. Pacific. See you there.
Okay. Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Sports Time. Well, you know, if you've been watching us every week, you know we break hey, down the latest and the greatest in the world of sports. Talk about the big hey, everyone, issues, John the big Roca. games, all of it. The rotating band of hey, guests is, like Matt Nose, hey, and Josh Guga. Hey, We've had John Taylor Rashadi on. We've had so many great guests. Now, if you want to see more of Sports Time or you want to try it out for the first time, remember to subscribe Blow to Gerson. Collider Sports Blow YouTube channel Come on. for all Blow the sports Come goodness. On. Hey guys, it's Riley here. Let me tell you about the Riley Roundtable. You know it, right? It drops every Thursday on Collider Conversations. And I have guests from all across the space. John Roca, Gray Drake, Alexander Desplat came on at one point. We talk everything from movies, we talk about life, and everything in between. What do you want to hear? What do you want to talk about? It's the Riley Roundtable every Thursday on Collider Conversations. You get it there. Hi, I'm Koi Jandro, host of Collider Heroes, and I'm here to tell you we've got 20-minute episodes coming at you on Collider Video, on the YouTube, as you've always loved it. Plus, now we've got hour-long podcasts dropping every Thursday, so make sure to subscribe to the podcast because it's going to get even more sweaty on the podcast. Plus, every week we're going to try to get some very special guest interviews, all of the people that help shape these movies and TV shows you love. So, video, podcast, interviews all coming at you. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Stay sweaty. Well, hello there. I'm Ken Napsok, one of the hosts of Collider Jedi Council, and I'd like to invite you to listen to our show, watch our show. It's on every Thursdays on the Collider video channel, and it's also available in podcast form if you'd like to listen to our sweet voices. On Collider Jedi Council, me, Christian Harloff, and a bevy of guests, I say, talk Star Wars. We celebrate Star Wars. We dig into the Star Wars news. We speculate everything about Star Wars including your questions. So join us on Collider Jedi Council. You're going to have a great time. What's up, Collider fans? Ryan Satin here from ProWrestlingSheet.com, where you can find the top stories throughout the week in the world of professional wrestling. If you're a wrestling fan like myself, then you'd be doing yourself a disservice by not checking out all the shows we do every week on YouTube.com slash C slash Wrestling Sheet. In particular, on Wednesdays, we've got a SmackDown recap show hosted by John Roca and myself, where we pick apart and, and talk about every little thing that happened on the Blue Brand. So do yourself a favor and go subscribe at youtube.com slash C slash wrestling sheet. Hey guys, Riley here, and let me tell you about Rule of Two. You looking for a Star Wars fix? Well, Rule of Two is that show. It drops on Collider Video's main YouTube channel, as well as on Podcast One's Jedi Council feed. So go over there, subscribe, share it with your friends. It's hosted by myself and Mark Fernandez. We talk everything in the Star Wars universe with a lot of deep dives and a lot of conversations that go all in. You know what to do. Subscribe, join us there, and rise. Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Mailbag. A new episode drops every Saturday and Sunday in your face and in your ears, answering the questions from you fans about the world of entertainment, oh, film, and, and television. And Me and great and guests from our sphere do the best ass. to answer your questions from Twitter, from Instagram, and of course, email as well, every Saturday and Sunday. Hello, how are you guys doing? I'm Christian Harloff, I'm the host of Collider Jedi Council. We talk about everything Star Wars. It's movie news, it's canon, it's all of it. We take questions from you guys. How do you do it? Main channel, that's right, right here. Subscribe to this channel. But if you wanna just listen to it, you got the podcast feed too. Apple Podcasts, you can listen to it in your car. Do all of it. It's Star Wars, episode nine's coming out. And then after episode nine, you got TV shows. So we're gonna be your sports center for Star Wars. Do it, come on, be real. Hi, I'm Amy Dallin, one of the hosts of Collider Heroes. And starting right now, you can catch our show Tuesday nights with a new Collider Heroes and a longer Collider Heroes podcast where Koi and I are going to talk your ears off. You already know that's coming. So make sure to go to YouTube, subscribe, and find us on the Collider Heroes podcast feed for all of that sweaty goodness. The Witching Hour is all over Collider right now. You can listen to that horror film podcast with myself, with Haley Fouch. We talk about witchiness. We talk about slashers. We talk about space horror. You name it. All on that show on the Collider Factory feed. And on top of that, you can find an article Amen all about Johnson. Witching Hour every single Tuesday on Collider.com. Check it out. Get scared. Hopefully you survive the Witching Hour. Welcome back to Collider Live, or Josh slaps Roxy for some reason. 
<laughs> the second time. I just time, hate that hat you know, so much. Well, last week, oh, so last good. week, <laughs> when we were talking about Bad Boys, McCrew got very excited and thought that Roxy was me or somebody else. And cracked Roxy in the arm. Uh, a fan made a video about it. So it's good. very fun. I don't know if we can find that, Alex. It's on Twitter somewhere. But I don't know if you know where it is. It, it will be hard. Or I think maybe the Facebook Maybe. Group. But it's, it's going to be hard to find. But, uh, yeah. but either way, Oops, it, uh, it was very funny. <laughs> And, and then, 45 minutes later. But, but we're in a break. No, not even 45 minutes later where you hit him back. That's that's one thing. In the break here, oh. he comes. Roxy's sitting there <laughs> just like she is now. You and Mark and myself are talking. And McCougar <laughs> just swats her hat. And it looked like an NBA player just swatting the ball like in, a, in like a championship game. And Roxy just goes, ow! Truthfully, <laughs> it, it was more startling than yeah. painful. <laughs> Uh, but we can take it. We're a bunch of champs. So yeah, it's true. You just don't like that hat. I don't. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not a fan. Yeah. It was a rough one last night. Yeah, thanks. It was Mark. a rough one. It was yeah. a rough day for a lot it. of football for all of us. How you doing? Mark Ellis is here. Ladies hey, hey nice to see you. Nice to have you here. Good yeah. to be back. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we we all everything about our team stink. Yeah, but it's They're funny terrible. in 2019, like yeah. because every football season that happens, it's like society <laughs> as a whole is just more triggered by everything. Yeah. So you can't even have playful banter about teams anymore no. because. I see. I saw people yesterday in this room getting very upset about people tweeting at them. Josh, oh. I saw, and then, then I saw Josh's Sunday. wife was like, "Look, y'all better stop talking shit about my husband's it's the football person team." That tweeted. And it's like it's oh. the person that tweeted. Okay. It, but it's because I felt the same thing because people started like because I was really excited because the Redskins were up seventeen nothing, uh, and I'm like, "Ah, here we go." I wasn't gonna tweet a bunch of stuff about sure. it, and then. But here's my thing: is I never tweet at other people. Like when we beat the Bengals, it's just oh. like, "Oh, Bengals, you guys never." I never. Tweet Tweet at the other I've team. Never, I never yeah. I don't get in other people's things. Unless, I never yeah. do it. If it's a Red Sox, someone that I have like a an ongoing on air thing about, then we yeah. might screw around a little bit. Sure. But like Jared, I, I screw around with Jared sometimes, and we, but nothing, nothing. Like but I try like, not to gloat. Yes, yes, correct. Try That's the thing. Gloat. I never yeah. gloat. Right. I don't want to be the gloating right. guy. I've been but, gloating about the Knicks for years. Oh yeah. wait, sorry. <laughs> it's when when people. First of all, when people I don't know don't have like a crafty insult, right. I'm like, yeah, all right, you're fine. When people that I do know, and then it's just like, I'll talk to you, I'll tell you, you guys know who it is, you'll know who it is. It's just like, I, I don't, I, it, I'm not, you, yeah. you're not even a fucking fan. You're not even from there. Uh. You're not, like, if you're not, if you haven't been a lifelong <laughs> diehard fan, shut your mouth. Oh, wait, shut wait your was, mouth. Was, it, was this the text last night? Uh. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now, but but Roxy. Now look. So Ro cryptic, guys. Roxy had reason to gloat. I know. I know. Yeah, you because do? her team, like. They beat the shit out of no the Steelers shit. last night. Yes. Were you were okay. you in a are you a gloater? Because look, six rings, Roxy. Uh, you just signed Antonio Brown, which clearly means Vince McMahon now runs the NFL. Yeah. And yeah. he's I love coming to tweet. town next love week. That was a great tweet. I, it was, tweet. And and I was appalled as a sports fan yesterday because I was trying to enjoy NFL football, and every five minutes I was attacked in my own home yeah. by masked singer promos yeah. and What's WWE promos. Some stupid Second show. Season. Oh my god. Oh, no. Yeah. Yes. You know the mass singer. Oh, We're, masked singer. singer. Yeah. I think you said the mass singer. I don't know what the mass <laughs> singer. Is. Uh, Paul, I'd much rather okay. see a cop. Hey, the, the mass singer. That's the mass singer. I said by Steve Harvey. Lou Santini. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I said to. Where were you gloating today? <laughs> no. Okay. So. Here's the truth. Yeah, uh, I uh -huh. tweeted about AB because mm -hmm. I thought that that was worth gloating about. I understand where you're coming from. Well, if uh, you're excited, it, it's not gloating if you're just excited uh, about your team. Yeah, I, I just thought like that was a huge, uh, a huge W for us. Oh, good. Yesterday, for you. obviously, I watched the game by myself yesterday. Um, it's the best oh, way to watch good. a game, isn't it? Oh, yeah. it feels good. I love it too. Oh, yeah, it's so good. I, I, you know, chilled mm -hmm. out, watched the game. Being alone um, is so yeah. underrated. Cody, did the Bucks play yesterday? And oh boy, yeah. all my friends were going. <laughs> all my usually my friends go to one of our houses. My Boston friends out here, but they were all going to Sonny McLean's, and I didn't oh, feel yeah, like Sonny doing McLean's. the whole thing yesterday because it's a whole it's a to thing. do. You have to go oh, hours yeah. and hours early. I had too much work to get done. Anyway. It's a liver workout too. It Great so, karaoke at that bar, by so, the way. Upstairs, like I, the little not, not, stage. I mean, no, the little stage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. planning yeah. on live tweeting the game uh, because I was so excited for it. Right. And then three minutes in, I was like, I think this is going to be <laughs> yeah. a. I, 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 I felt the what tone. What was the final score of that game? 33, 33 to 3. Yeah, it's almost and as bad so as the So I was like, you know what? Me. I'm just not going to tweet about this yeah. because. I, why, what, why pee on somebody where they're sitting well, down? If you remember last season, we had some really rough on games. On the floor. 
when they don't expect you to pee on them. Better? I, I don't know that you're it's ever like worse. fully prepared for somebody to pee, pee on you. I mean, let's just ask specifically weird sex for yeah. like golden Cults. shower. You're at the car like, wash. Area. Yeah. Look, just so you all know, while our car is getting Igla. washed, a good chance somebody tries to pee on you. Yeah, so just, just and their name is Igla. Igla. Yeah. Yeah. No, a lot of, let's not do that. Because yeah. <laughs> you put the writer. That's, 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 that's the overstep. That's over the line. So I hate, we had some tough games last season as well, especially early on. Yeah. And it sucks when your friends like. Of course, I thought about texting Josh beforehand, being like, "Game on tonight." That's a different but, thing. But I didn't because I just I I sensed an right. energy and I was like, "That would suck," and yeah. I I don't want to do that. You just have to uh, know the person. What well, you just have to have a a previous relationship that is established because like Christian and I have a fun thing that we used to do where we'd go back and forth. Where I would text Christian jokingly about the Giants, who were much better at that time mm-hmm. than the Washington Redskins were, and so any any trash I would talk I shut about him down the in a Giants. Second. Christian just came up with this textual response, shut him making fun of the current Redskins coach at that time, who was Jim Zorn. So all Christian would do is, like, if the Yankees lost, if the Knicks <laughs> lost, if the Giants lost, all he would write me back is Redskins, comma, Zorn. That's it. Sometimes just Zorn. Yeah. Just, sometimes just Zorn. And you know it what's was, crazy? It was I'm, like, my sister-in-law, Amanda's sister, is married to a guy who's Jim Zorn's nephew. Oh, really? Yeah, he, yeah. like, coached with Jim Zorn at, really? in Washington. Yeah. Right, when Jim Zorn was in Washington. I, I, just remember, the, yeah. I just remember we used to have the, it, would, it would be one of these things where I could, I could see him, zone. even though it was on the other side, where, and I could see his face, and you'd be like, all right, what's he got? <laughs> Damn it. I mean, he's, he busted that out like two years ago, and yeah. I'm like, come on. Yeah. Man, you brought, you you brought it out recently. Like, what I, like, I will now yeah. zorn you. I want to tell that. I want the to tell. The tables sto- have turned. I want to tell the story of the one joke that we taught, the, the, per, the, the thing we do all the time, but I don't want to use the real names. Um, there's a, well, there's a couple of them. No, the, but the the main one that you, that you've been using a lot more recently. That even even I think the other day when you uh, maybe I know, during the live event you wrote you wrote something to me about that incident. Did I in Vegas? Oh, that. Oh, I'm God, saying that's it, so. Funny. I'm saying maybe change the names. <laughs> Tell the story because uh, it's a great. Can we story. include the class or what's I'm going, going I'm, on? I'm trying. I'm trying to include the class to tell this story because it's an amazing story. Uh, okay, look. No one will ever know if I if I if I change the well, name. Let's do this. Yeah. I'll be back on the show in in a couple weeks time. Yeah. The, the three and and let's you and I strategize this. Let's really sit down and stratego this thing, <laughs> and we'll come up with a way to tell the story. It's worth everybody. It is worth it. I'll just tell it now. Oh God, it's so funny. But I, was, I wasn't even there for it. Right, you know, <laughs> I just heard the story. You Make up you make up a woman's name. Jessica. No, make up no. another one. No. No. It's, 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 over. Over. it's over. Kill the bitch. We'll do it, we'll do it later. How we'll did do you do that? We'll do it later. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, wow. oh boy, forget it. Forget All right, we it. tried. Yeah, it's like it's like Riley doing the. Uh, we did, dude. We did a bit uh, the other day. You would have loved this. It was amazing. You know the old improv bit when you start like, okay, we went to the store, we got this, this, and and there we met a guy named mm-hmm. shoo, Pass yeah. it. Riley had no idea what we were doing. He yeah, was but, he was going like. So then I ended up at the store and I got a bag full of peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> and then look, like, like, giving like, giving us nothing to work with. <laughs> so then I was like, no, Roxy. I was like, no, right, sorry, no, Riley. You well, gotta say it, time. and then leave me a fill in the blank to keep the story going. He's like, oh, okay, okay. So then I was at the store, and we were watching Star Wars, and then Luke uh, Skywalker had a lightsaber. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> Riley, you gotta. <laughs> It was great. Is Riley uh, allowed to talk on the show? <laughs> he is allowed. I've yeah. seen comment. Like, is there is there some sort well, of Christian procedure? Christian that... held up a thing the other day that said uh, Riley hasn't spoken in eight minutes. Yeah. I think it was. Seven, today too. Seventy. It was, se- it was seventy minutes. Wait, what you did are you it? Talking? You, you did it also, Cody? I did it today. How it many, was seventy. How many I, mi- I, wait. I have the picture. Wait, wait, wait. How many was it for real today? It's from the. It was from the start of the show. I looked. It was like twenty minutes in. So I put twenty minutes. <laughs> it seemed like he hadn't talked. I know. Is he in the room with you right now? No, he just took off. <laughs> he just, I mean. Where's he going? Well, look, if you do a two-hour show every day, I, I understand needing to pace yourself. Is that a 70 I or I thought 20? that was a seven. Think you think seven. that's a two? It's a two. Oh, uh, I thought that was a seven. Yeah. That's today. Yeah, that I mean, I, yeah. I believe it. Uh, Cody, no, that by wasn't the way, today. This isn't today. Yeah, this was 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Congratulations, wow. Cody. Um, you You and your family, <laughs> to be used however you want, have a, have a gift from Taco Bell coming your way. Oh, yes. nice. Right. Okay, to, to celebrate the birth of his, of his, his kid. His son. Yeah, I mean, there's no better way Not Grant Hill, to start Grant someone Hall. off on, on, a, on the healthy yeah. path 
then give them mm, Taco Bell. a big Taco Bell gift card. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been eating uh, better or worse since you had your child? I had Taco Bell yesterday. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, you Don't did. change. Don't change. Yeah, you did. It's a glorious. It's a glorious place. It's a Good. place where dreams are made of, where hopes come true. Uh, it's a place where you know sometimes you walk in and you're not expecting it to be perfection, and then you right. walk out and realize that you just ate perfection. And that, those are those I'm days. I think I've ever had it. What Taco, Taco Bell? Bell? What? Yeah. Oh my goodness. What's yeah. what, like? This is a dumb question, but like, what is it's what is it's tacos, ta- tacos? It's tacos? Well, it's tacos. It's no, burritos. No, it's just it's crunch wraps, yeah. creams. It's, it's Italian food. Yeah. I mean, it's, no, I know that. It's, <laughs> it's a lot of pasta. <laughs> Taco Bell. Italian. What is it? Is it tacos? Yeah. No. Oh my cheeseburger. You said that. Uh, they no. do. Oh they do God. have pizza there, though. I'm just trying it, to think of what I would have ordered there because I think we had one right by my school. I don't think we had a Taco Bell in my school. What? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, we had a Taco Hard Bell. Shell, Bell. Pizza. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, everything. So back in uh, in Williamsburg, Virginia, near uh, where I went to school, Walsingham Academy, we had a good for a you. very, a very, like, kind of, by modern standards, it was not the best strip mall. You had a food lion, which was the big shopping, okay. that was the big, you know, grocery Lyon. store. So we had food lion, then right next to it, we had video update, mm-hmm. and then down the way, we had Little Caesars, and then we had the comic cubicle. What's and those video were, update? Video update was the, the video <laughs> rental store, because my town was too small to have a blockbuster, right? So Why are you we, guys laughing at me? What do you think a video update would be? They sell tacos. They, yeah, video. they sell tacos. <laughs> <laughs> I was say. It's, it's another purveyor of Italian food. Uh, you guys are old. <laughs> video <Yeah>. update. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. But Taco Bell is not an old right. person thing. You're 100% right it's about Taco thing. Bell, but I was checking because, like, you know, McDonald's, you could still get chicken nuggets. I didn't know yeah. if there was something else I would have ordered there because I can't Taco think of the time I got yep. tacos. Keep going well, with video but, update. Well, because, so what happened is that, and, and we had a Burger King there. And, and you know, Burger King, it's like, come uh, to Baja uh, Fresh and buy wood. Uh, yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> we, got, we, we have all your Christmas tree needs at Del Taco. Yeah. <laughs> um, Don't join so, them. Don't so, join I'm them. Sorry, Rox. So, so then. Have they, you been a day? Dave's Chicken Shack. They, they only sell get, beef. This was like as Fat Ellis was progressing because they started. I remember they put a Papa John's in there. Oh yeah. So they had Papa John's Oof. and Little Caesars. That garlic like, dipping sauce. We're getting pizza at twice the oh, amount. Oh god. Of it. And no then, wonder you don't and, understand what real pizza is. No. And yeah. then they built a Taco Bell, and we lost our goddamn oh, minds sure because this was around the same exact time when Demolition Man was coming out. Oh yeah. And so Demolition Man had the huge Taco Bell promo. And then they built a Taco Bell, and it's like the entire school gained 15 pounds. Well, right. When you with that. Just from the time they built the, the first wall. And then, a dairy, and then a Dairy Queen oh, came out. Oh, God. And then a what? Dairy Queen got built there, too. Jeez. So all of a sudden, we Orange were like Jubilee? in the hub of... It, 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 no. I, I didn't live in a mall, Christian. No. The no. Blizzard? This is, well, it Orange like it, Julius then. never made uh, the leap. Ju- that's what I said. She said Jubilee, and that's I wasn't going to call you out because friendship. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but you should have. What do you, you think? They sell Jubilees? But that's a little <laughs> different. Juice store? Jubilee and Jubilis or whatever the fuck it's called. What never had it. There's no B. But I know what they sell there. They sell drinks. You? You didn't even know the name of the store. I know but, it's called Taco Bell. But you thought they sold Christmas ornaments. I knew they sold tacos. <laughs> I just didn't know what else they sold. You said, and I quote, what, I said, what do they sell there? Tacos? I, th- <laughs> I said, what do they sell? Like tacos. And then was waiting for you guys to fill in oh, the blank. Like Riley. Like I Luke think, uses uh, the four step. <laughs> Every time I come here, it's like I have to be a couples counselor. I, I think that I can solve both of our problems, okay? Look, Roxy. Don't use both couples. First, right. we'll go to Pizza Hut and pick you up some Chinese food. And then Christian yes. can go to Orange Jew, and he can get himself a drink. And then Or Josh JT I, would say the Jew Orange. The, the Jew Orange. Well, some of us Jews do tan a little too much. So, oh, so good. Um, no, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, w- w- when a Taco Bell is in your town, you, you, you know that but your town I think the same time your the right Taco way. Bell opened, because I remember the Demolition Man. And then when they opened the, ordered, the Taco they just Bell, ordered, they just—they're ordering Taco Bell. Are right they now. ordering yeah. Taco Bell? Is that probably true because of the, Cody can't handle himself? Is it for me? No, it's for there's Cody. a Taco Bell very close by. Is, uh, that, that changed our whole perspective, I'm sure. I when feel they like you that could Taco eat relatively. The new logo, because <laughs> ta- Taco Bells used to look like the Alamo. Yes. Like, like their whole their whole design Facade. was like it, they had like an actual bell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they're like, you know what? This is really expensive. And the '90s were all about yeah. having bright neon colors. Yeah. And so when Demolition Man came out, and Boom. the future in Demolition Man is that every restaurant is Taco Bell. Yes. Yeah, which is it, like the have worst. Have you ever seen yeah. best Demolition Man? Well, I guess not. Fast West food Central advertising nice. of all time. Yeah, I guess not. And Taco Bell, not only did they have the mention in Demolition Man, Taco Bell said, if San you Diego. go here, you oh. will get a Demolition Man poster. And so oh, my right. brother and I, we were... we. Some my brother and I, Washington? We collected no, uh, uh, like movie posters then. It's like, yeah, that was back in the day when you wanted to decorate your entire wall. You right. did not want to be able Collage. to see actual wall nope. in your bedroom because you wanted... I had movie posters that I got from Video Update for a dollar yeah. of movies I had no intention to see. <laughs> 
What did they sell there? Posters. They, they well, they they had posters there. <laughs> Could have just ordered one hundred thirty nine dollars worth of Taco Bell. Forty <laughs> cheesy <laughs> gordita crunches. It's a typical Monday meal. <laughs> I hate cheese. Are you just gonna get it for the, the office? cheesy gordita it's crunch? Is pretty. I hate pretty, cheese. Pretty intense. Yeah. That right. the breakfast crunch yeah. wrap. It's good. Oh, All right. I want to move on. Oh, look, um, they have breakfast food. I want to talk to you about a couple things you got going on because you have the special going coming on. out. Special's coming One's out. Coming yeah. Out. More announcements soon. Oh, you can't say yet. One's coming I, out. I, I can't say everything. Yeah. I the can trailer. Tell you. The trailer did run during the Schmodown. You can see that if you go to the Schmodown really? uh, channel. Yeah, if you go to Schmodown yeah. channel, watch the Snyder versus Oyama match. At the end of it, you run the uh, the, the trailer. Is there. it still? Is it? I, I didn't know. It was on, no. I didn't know it was on the actual fit. I believe what it is. happened? I, I believe enjoy it. Is. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to talk about it, but then no. We can talk. It's it's. No, no. My, my special is called uh, Dog Stepfather. It's uh, like it's going to be called Dog Stepfather, and we are. I'm just sorting out all the uh, the kind of finishing all the legal stuff. Just putting oh. ink to paper um, before I can make all the official announcements. But you can look for it in November is okay. when it's going to come uh-huh. out. So what happened? I was supposed to be interviewed about it. You're still going to be interviewed about it. Oh, yeah, I yeah. I have talk a cool behind it. the scenes thing I'm working I on too it. that's in concert okay, with that. Okay, so that's so. why. Hence, you're still yeah. working on the little mm-hmm. the little trinkets before we get it. A out. lot of trinkets. Whistles. How are you lot feeling of, about it? I'm so excited for this thing to come out. Yeah. Like I, I am so happy with it uh, because when I got sent the cut of it, uh, Thad Williams, the director of the special, sent it to me, and I was in Las Vegas, and I got the, he, I got the email on like a Monday, and it took me until Thursday of that week to, to actually it. sit down and watch it because you know how hard it is yeah. to like actually watch yourself yeah. do stuff. It's like oh god, and I remember just like pulling teeth that night and, and how tough it was, and it's like I finally sat down on Thursday and watched it, and I was like. Oh, we did it. We we <laughs> right. pulled it off. This you were proud of yourself. You thought Chewy? you were good. Proud oh, of the team. So I was yeah. so happy with it. And so it's it, the final mix is being done right now um, by Brian Perez. Oh yeah, and uh, he's uh, he's Sound taking care of the audio mix, and then it then it gets to the next level, and everybody can can see it in November. So I awesome. cannot wait for everybody to check it is out. Is there a, is there any point in the special where the cameras go backstage of me yelling at the busser to <laughs> not slam the door? Is no, but that... uh, but serious question about that. <laughs> no, but but Josh and Ken were interviewed for the thing, and, and yeah. I think Christian was interviewed too. Yeah, and then we'll interview you as well. Were so. there audio issues at all? Because um, I know we had talked about there were not you, nothing in the final cut. Oh, so I'm sure that there was a lot of headaches with like like getting the sound because there was a band playing next door. Papa Tuna was doing their 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 what did I call their them? Johnny disc. Rocks and the and assholes. assholes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Johnny Rocks and the assholes. That sounds like them yeah, too. Yeah. And so th- there was a little bit of a struggle that night. But the actual audio, you can't hear anything. Good. The laughs sound great. The my, my voice is great because I was mic'd up. Right. And then it's funny because like th- there's certain things that happen when you're doing. Any show that you you can just never prepare for, and that's part of the fun of stand-up. Right, that's what right. I love, and I love talking to the crowd. So there's one thing that happened in the crowd that we kept in that was that ended up really having a good payoff. Then there's another thing that we're just like, ah, that, that'll be a bonus feature. I was going to say, it's oh, going to put you, that in the bonus. We, I put the we're going to put the Star oh. Wars guys, okay, or the Star the the, the drunk. Uh, European in the behind the scenes, the dr- drunk Euro trip. Yeah. Star Wars is probably behind the scenes. Not the guys, another thing. The guys, yeah, we talked about it. Though. You know, the guys that get booted out. Yeah, yeah, those yeah. guys. You, that, they won't make the, any That's cut. That's my probably. botch. No, well, they, they'll be in the. Uh, they'll be in, in the, the behind the oh, scenes. Oh, they will. Kind of okay, thing, good, yeah. good, good. Sure. Good. Okay, yeah, well, why not? I, I don't mind showing people how the sausage gets made. Gets yeah, made as you, know? you should. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Other things. So you have other shit going down though. This Thursday, right? This Thursday, got a big show in the Comedy Store, my home, our home, in the Belly Room. I just, I think it'd be fun to do like. Maybe not a monthly show because that seems like a lot of work, but maybe like a bi monthly, something like that. That just in LA. Because bi monthly would be once every two months. It actually Uh, is both. Bi weekly would be once every two weeks. You're correct. It is both. Bi is the one word that can be used for both twice or every other. So it like if, it, if it's bi-weekly, it could be every other week. Or mm-hmm. if it's bi-weekly, it could be twice a week. The, I, uh, this is something that I looked up a little while ago. Yeah. People use it both bi monthly. Right. Done, produced, or occurring twice a month or every two months. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it says. It's, um, it's bizarre that it yeah, can. Twice but... a month or every two months. Oh, okay. There you go. Anyway, so you're the point, both right. point is you're going to be doing. Yeah, I take it back, Josh. Yeah. I apologize. It doesn't matter. Point is, you guys Love are good. Yeah. Okay. You will be doing a show this on Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, so you how get do you get tickets? tickets? Uh, uh, my uh, on my my Twitter page, I pinned the uh, the link. Okay. So because my website's under construction, which is the other good news that my my website's going to be refurbished in time for the special, and then nice. like new tour dates, going to look cool and all that stuff, and then a lot of other fun stand up stuff. But yeah, this Thursday, comedy store. Uh, Ken Napsock's doing stand up. Ken's doing it. Yeah. Ken Napsock is doing stand up. Who's hosting? Uh, Justine Marino. Oh, cool. Is going to be doing that. Okay. From, Chewing gum from, into the microphone. You are more than welcome. 
to attend. What time is it? Uh, the show's at 8. 8 o'clock And on Candace Thursday. Thompson from The Tonight Show. Oh, nice. Uh, one of my good friends is okay. going to be on it. Matt Nost is going to be doing no, a set. Okay. And then because it's the Comedy Store, I spaced out about 15, 20 people minutes for big-name pop-ins. Because uh, a lot of people have been... I told this story at uh, the live event when I had to kill some time because <laughs> at the end of the live event in New York like I was gonna Christian and I finished our, our, our song and dance and the matches are great and then, and then the crowd's going crazy and then I usually pick up the mic anyway and I just do like uh, hey do we need any more crowd right. noise or anything like that for the for, for the cut that we're gonna release on YouTube and but this time I wanted to run my trailer and surprise the crowd with one more thing and be like here's the first trailer for Dog Stepfather and the projectionist I in New guess, York yeah, yeah no left. Not our crew, yeah. Not our our crew's yeah, always our crew was great. on it. Yeah. <laughs> the projectionists have left, and so I just vamp for ten minutes. Yeah. And... My favorite was the was the uh, the reason. <laughs> well, he thought he was done, <laughs> and and then Thad, who you don't want to piss off, Thad. No. And, and that and that's going. That's that is like. Where's this fucking guy? Where yeah. is he? Running through. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, wait a minute, because because they had, they had talked about it. They they had had the conversation. We're gonna right. run this thing afterwards. Right. So Thad had to fucking run up there. Thad but, ran and do it and did it himself. Yeah. The yeah. problem when you're working with somebody for one time and one time only, they don't. They care. don't give a fuck. They don't care. Yeah. So we, I did my job. I'm yeah. out. Bought yeah. that guy a coffee at uh, the Starbucks next door. Oh, the projectionist. Yeah, yeah because back. I because I walked out and I said hi to like because there there we had about 15 or 20 fans that they were already in line by that point because this was pretty early in the day and I'm gonna go get my my Trenta black iced tea unsweet and I walk out I high five the fans talking to them for a minute going to Starbucks I see the projectionist guy and he's way in the back of the line I'm like hey come on up man I'll buy you your your your, your latte whatever the hell you want and he gets like a latte with yeah. all the caramels and your mochas yeah, yeah, and your yeah. pineapples and advantage. your pumpkins whatever the yeah. hell and so I, I pay for him and you know we have a little conversation and then uh, the Marianos came into uh, right. Starbucks and then I shifted over to them because I'm talking to this guy for a little bit, right. for as long as I can stand, sure. right. and then I see the Marianos, and I'm like, oh, thank God, I can go talk to these cute kids, and, right, right, right. and then I'm, so I'm talking to them, and then the guy, he's just standing there. The projectionist? He, he's just standing there, waiting for his beverage, which had been served, because they, but they kept saying the name Mark. Oh. They're, they're like, Mark, for, uh, the, and, and I just look at him, I'm like, I think that's yours. <laughs> he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> So it was he as a stoner? I don't know. And then and so I'm on stage for about four or five minutes, just vamping, just doing crowd work. Because by this point, the crowd kind of knows what's going on, but they're also thinking oh, I got to beat traffic. This was right. at the Schmodown. This, this is at, at the, the end. At the the match was wrapped. At well, the end. Mark called me and he's, uh, before we, we went. He's like, "Hey, listen, uh, you mind if I play the track? Like, of course, play, you should fucking promote it to yeah. tell these people." And and we were getting ready to do that. I left the stage. <laughs> yeah. do, he's doing his thing. Doing I'm my like, thing. And I'm on the back because I haven't seen the trailer yet. So I'm in the back waiting for the screen. And all I hear on the side is, what the fuck? And it's that pissed. Four or five and minutes into me vamping, I just kind of peer my head around the curtain, and I see that. I'm like, hey, guys, do we have a... <laughs> and, <laughs> and, 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 and Thad says, I need you to get me a fucking projectionist. And I'm like, he said I'll it be to on you? stage. Oh, yeah. He said yeah. it to you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't have a projectionist. <laughs> but, I, but I got a lot of crowd work. <laughs> yeah. So who's from out of town? <laughs> yeah. so, but we did it, and, and it ended up going off. And then I don't know how I got started on that diatribe. But anyway, oh, yeah, because I told this story is that the two days before we went to New York, I was at the comedy store, yeah. and I was leaving as Chappelle's vehicle was pulling oh, in. Cool. So we almost swapped paint um, because that that parking lot, yeah, yeah. the worst. It's just, store. Yeah, you told, yeah. yeah, you told it briefly. Yeah, yeah. It's, it wasn't Chappelle driving; it was his driver's right, car. Right, right, it was right, a right. huge black Escalade. But Chappelle's been popping in recently. Uh, Bill Burr's special comes out tomorrow, so a lot of big names. Anybody could pop in going around the comedy Anything. store. Yeah. You know. So how are we doing ticket sales so far? Is it? But it, I have no idea. You don't know yet. It could be sold out. I don't know. Great. Nobody maybe bought a ticket yet. Belly, I don't know. Now people bought tickets. The belly room. The belly room's <laughs> great. Belly yeah. room's great. Tickets are cheap. I'm working on new stuff. A lot of great acts. And uh, you know you're you're welcome to do set if you want. Well, I was you someone know? someone was asking me about that though, too, like because people have heard my version of it about how like, you because when I was at the Met game you wrote me and said because you kept you've been trying to get me to do a set. I, for like ha I a have year not been trying to get you to do a set. When you did, I I have offered the the stage time, but I am not you like called, hey man you got to get up and do. What a did set. you call me when I said I wasn't going to do it? On I Thursday. called you a pussy. Okay, so you, that, as that, that counts. As a joke. <laughs> as a joke. Yeah. But either way, but no, I mean my thing is you haven't pressuring me. No, I no. and I don't want to pressure no, anybody. You haven't pressured me because like because I was talking to a person who shall remain nameless. Yes. 
who Roxy knows very well. Ralph Biscuits. Um, Rox- Roxy knows this person very well. <laughs> Jessica, <Yes>. yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and everybody kind of knows. But, but I have, you know, a, a fair amount of people. I'm sure yeah. sometimes, you know, y'all do too, is that they come up and they're just asking questions about stand-up. Like, yeah. I've been thinking about maybe trying to get on stage. I'm like, look, here's what I'll tell you. I... Uh, think it has to come from you. Right. It can't come from like me or anybody else saying, "Hey, you're really do funny. It, do it, do you it. need to try right. stand up." Right. It's like that's got to come from inside. Well, I I don't care do how I know funny this you person are. Well, because it's me. No. Okay. No. <laughs> well, what, well, that's what. But that's that's ultimately what happened though on on Saturday because I was with Pinto and uh, and and Dagnino Friday. Which, yeah. Yeah. And Friday. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and so yeah. so you said you weren't going up, and I'm like, fine. And so I I already had a good lineup, and I'm like um, yeah. ready to go. And in the very back of my head, I'm like. Uh, this guy, th- this this guy could text me. No way. And you really thought that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Be- because I know, I this know. This guy once, isn't Christian. Yeah. I'm like, once once you get the juice going. Yeah. And once you sit in a comedy club. Now again, I didn't realize you're going to be sitting Julius. in the goddamn front and we'll row. Talk about that, we'll talk club. about that in a second because we haven't talked about that on the air because we we you don't listen to the show so you want to hear all, all the whole explanation for it so we'll go it but finish what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just finish. I feel like this yeah. is like, like like now you're getting different people in the interrogation. No, room no, he knows, to make sure it's the same. But he knows what happened. He knows what happened. He was on our side with it. Go ahead. So you I can't walk. Not be on our side. There's no other side. Yeah. Yeah. I get into the club. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, you. There's a reaction. Yeah. Um, initially, because I, I get to the club and and by this point, Christian had texted me and he's like, "Yeah, I think that I'll do a set." And I might have the text here because he wrote me and he's like, "Hey, do you have room for five? Yeah. And I'm thinking, "Wait, on your guest list?" And I'm like, "Dude, right, I got it. It's it sold out. It's I got to see if people. I can get one more yeah. person on." And, and I'm like, L- "Let me text the manager, Amy." And he's like, "Wait." Why? And I'm like, because you only have four on your list. And you're like, no, five minutes. And then I read it. I'm like, five. Oh, <laughs> right. oh, he's going to he got the juice. And this is like, again, 30 minutes before the show starts. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm like, yeah, I, I think I can move things around when you want to go up. Then you and I had a back and forth as to when you were going right, to go up. Right. I just assumed that you would go up right before me. Yeah. Um, and then you I, I think. Right or wrong, I don't know. I mean, your set ended up being really good, so I think you made the right play. But you went up earlier in the show, yeah. And so, but I never get to the show before the show starts. Like, no, I get it. I so was, I only want to do six or seven minutes. I yeah. wound up doing like eight. But so still. I walk in, and, and Vince has just gotten off stage, and Camille uh, Theobald went up. is very funny. Yeah, they were both. Was great. that the MTV girl? The, yeah. Yes, she's yeah. great. I'm obsessed with her. She's great. She's great. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. I love her. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, it's not relevant to the story, but yeah, wow. That's, just great. Oh, that's oh a God. great thing about doing stand-up in New York is that you meet a lot of comics yeah. that are that are local in New York and that you have not worked with in L.A. And it's like these she are, She had me you know, crying. She was good. It was so yeah. funny. She's so funny. Yeah. yeah. But so I walk in during her set and I see, I look at the stage and I walk in and it's him like front row. And then Roxy. Pinto. And Dagnino, Pinto, and ben. Pinto, and Ben Bateman, and I'm like, why are these morons? <laughs> Have they yes. never been through this so, before? So sitting now, in so the now front because row. you set that up, now I can answer yeah. the question of this. Yeah. So we walk in, right. and the because there were a lot of fans outside, so we just wanted to get in there quick, sit down, and I wanted to sit closer to where I sat last time. So the manager of because you guys were away, farther yeah. back, and I said, to, and the manager club goes, okay, this, you got to sit here in the front. I go. Dude, we can't sit in the front row. <laughs> I said, I said, I'm gonna be. I said, I'm gonna be going up later. Plus, that's kind but of. He, a, and said, he, you were trying not to say that because you were in front of but, me, so you were like, there's just like. But I said it to reasons. him on the side. Yeah. But then I said, I said, it's kind of a comedy no no. I said, I don't want to do. I don't. I said, I don't want to be in the front. We're Generally, and if if you know the performer, you don't want to be sitting. That's what I'm saying. And, he, and so he's like, he's like, yeah, but there's five of you. You have to sit in the front. And I go, is there a way we? So he's like, it's policy. I don't want to argue with the guy. He's being yeah, right, right, he's right. being nice. You're getting and in for free. Getting yeah. free. He's hooking up the table. So I was like, We did ask about every other seat every other area. table. Like, what about that one? I said, What about what the about one back? He's like, that no. doesn't seat five. That only seats four. I said, like, Can yeah. we add another chair? He's like, You have to sit in the front. At that point, I wasn't going to push. And I was, mm-hmm. like, I was like, Okay, fine. And I knew. And I said to Rox, I go, Mark's not going to lie. Not this. only were you in the front, you were like, in the, you was in like I was as like close to you as I am right now. It's like there is a spotlight on Christian. It's like from where where he is on stage. I would do it. I'm this close. The worst. It was bad. Now. It was bad. I didn't want to be there. I'm telling you that right now. Here's what I will say. And I would actually love, because I haven't talked to Sheridan about this either, because like... At where I am right now, it's not going to throw me off doing doing jokes, right. doing material. I always love having strength because, like in in its purest form, stand up is me, Mark, uh, doing jokes for strangers. It's not like it's right. not stacking the room with like, Your oh, friends. these are all people right. I know. You know, let's just have a, a nice a nice barnyard. A lot of claps, a lot of right. woos. Right, you want to win I, over. Uh, yeah, a lot of claps, a lot of woos. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so, Woo! so I, I don't mind it, but I prefer seeing strangers I, uh, I as, as opposed understand. to that. I felt really bad. Yeah, we all uh, we all did. Not and, one of not one of us wanted I to be sitting. I was doing there. a weird thing too because I was like, "Don't look at him. Don't look at yeah. him. Don't not look at him." Like right. what am I? And so I felt very. Yeah. Uh, Brett was up there and I looked at us so like this. Like, yeah. like we did not want to be there <laughs> at all. Well, it, 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 it's an extra layer for y'all yeah. too because every uh, pretty much everybody to in that comedy club knows who y'all are. So it's not just that I know who you are. No, I know. You, as soon as you sat down, though, you should have like. As soon as the manager walks away, you should have stood up and gone to your corner. It was no, it, there was it, nowhere it, to no, go. There was no way to do it. The way that they were seating, they had the chairs there, and they were constantly having people walk and monitoring the chairs and the seats. They did not uh, want. We tried five to six different times to it. make it them was, just add one chair. Well, because because the thing was, we had five or six people there the last time. Yeah, at that table. What, yeah. what, what's really funny though is that the very first show I ever did, the very first time I ever did stand up. <laughs> Pack club, and I made the rookie mistake because I sat in the sat front. In the front. front. Oh, okay. So I'm like, Christian is all the way back to square one. <laughs> like, he knows nothing about, about comedy, comedy club just, etiquette I, I, at I all. Lost. And you're just sitting there. Oh. Then they pull you up, and it was it was cool. It worked for it worked Did for you the air moment. This thing? It's like almost part oh of no, the I didn't. The, the, just that was just kind of, kind of a small. No, it's like ten seconds of yeah. you being introduced and getting a standing up. Yeah, that was all pretty, right. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. But it, but I mean, we had some people there, and what I. What I, I somebody have, taped it? Not the whole thing. I, you Just know, like funny, the ten the second funny thing like is though, I would have been okay if I found out that somebody actually recorded the set. I think it would have been okay. But the respect in that club, nobody recorded a frame. No, I don't. Yeah. Nobody recorded a frame of it. Yeah. And minus the intro in the beginning, which I thought was really it was good comedy etiquette in there. Minus Pinto for like two seconds, and I had to shut him down. More but, than yeah. two seconds. I was gonna murder him. <laughs> he didn't know. He's him. like, I gotta yeah. take this call. I go, take it in the back. I gotta take He's, the call. he's like this. I'm like, take it in the back. He's like, yeah. I got I gotta respond to this. I go, back there. Yeah. So we're in the front but row. But I was dude. so happy though because you know how sometimes when somebody takes their friend somewhere yeah. and you I don't want to be that dickhead who's talking to your friend about etiquette and you were on it. In a second. Yeah, and it, like Within you were on yeah. it cuz I was like thank god I knew I the can't. etiquette. I just got thrown out of the etiquette by the club manager. Right. Yeah. Right. Um but but yeah, but anyway, <laughs> so the, one of the things I was talking because someone had mentioned to me a fan or whoever I saw comments about like oh well his wife is going to be wondering now because we've talked about it, how my wife has been. And every day now, she's like, uh, she knows that I kind of got the the itch again. And we were even at the at birthday dinner the other day, and I was telling people that I'd gone up again, and now people want to come see it. So I don't know if I'm going to necessarily go up to the stairs. I appreciate the the invite for that, for sure. But like, I think that we should do I, some more stuff f- like in next season, ah, okay. for sure. I think Starting that, to get the gears turning. I think so, and that's also Starting one of the things. Starting to get the itch. And we may or may not talk about this more tomorrow. I mentioned that you, me, and Brett Sheridan are doing a live stream on the Schmodown channel tomorrow at 2 p.m. Yeah, yeah, I committed to that. You did, because we have some we have, <laughs> we have, we have some we have some announcements to make. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the signature's on the that's paper, it. guys. It no, that, and that, that's yes. it. That's the inaugural. Is that the inaugural? It's, well, it's, it's, I don't is want people to know yet what it owner's is. Owner's meeting. Okay. Yeah, it's a little. It's going to Yeah, between me, him, and Brett Sheridan. Yeah, yeah, Brett is going to be announced as the new chairman yeah, the, of the movie the trivia spin- showdown. Can you imagine? It, it would be I over would in a month, it. but it, my God, would would it the be the guy that, that's watch. been running the showdown for the last month? Yeah, well, it's over now. It's better than that. That's true, Burnett. I like so, him, Burnett. Um, yeah, yeah, he was good, but he's gone now. Um, all right, let's take some phone calls. I got in Burnett's face. I forgot you to tell you that on Saturday. I told it on the show already. Yeah, I like I told because he was like that. Bad Boys for Life trailer was trash, and I was like, oh, I was like, I he went after him. Traffic. Oh, did yeah. anybody tell Daddy about the uh, the incident? I don't know if you were oh, there. The real? <laughs> yeah, I heard about <laughs> it. They told me. They told me immediately. Yeah, because you. Wait, what happened? You, Christian was not able to be at our most recent uh, Schmodown shoot on Saturday, yeah. so he's texting me like you texted a lot during the matches. I had um, to. Yeah, you texted a lot to do some writing and um, so, on the fly. So writing from the office. And, and so afterwards, Christian. And like he writes me and he wants like kind of you know my take on everything that happened. I just done six matches. I got two sets to go right. to, and so I'm just like, yeah, matches were good. You know, everything went fine, no big issues. And then and then you were like, yeah, it seems like it went pretty smooth. And part of me wants to be like, oh boy, I can't wait to tell you about the wheel. But I I'm not going to get into no, a conversation I, about. I heard about yeah. the wheel immediately when what, it happened. What? Yeah. So the tank wheel, the big wheel. I said it sounds like when you're going up a roller coaster. Yeah, yeah, It does. It sounds what like a great it, sound. It sounds that is. like yeah. a yeah. dump truck at three in the morning barreling through your your na- your quiet neighborhood. Talk, 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 talk. I like the sound. But I, it's, I like this. But it's I like Captain America fan. Shield. It's it nothing's breaking that. Yeah. Thing, right. It's but made it's of got vibranium. a it's got a shit thing. The 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 ticker whatever. It's it's a shit thing. 
uh, and we need to be fixed, right? Yeah. So we hear that uh, apparently when it flew off. The, the wheel mil- took it out. It, it just f- it, it, it went. It made it all the way. We filmed a lot of matches and made it all the way to the last match, the last spin. Right. <laughs> because I, I think somebody spun and then they and then they didn't like the category, so they're like they're going to use and their spin again. Flew. But I'm looking at so the what wheel do you do, and I just get a bad feeling. I'm like, I don't think. Oh yeah, I, don't I, think it's I got. got a, one but ball. I got a bone to pick with you. Because I got because you you're the one that makes the this, this, this decision, yeah. and I just heard why would we go back to the hat and not use the fucking old wheel? Okay, first of all, there was some discrepancy as uh, to if the old wheel so was works. able to function or bring it back out. Yeah. and by that point, it would have taken a lot longer to, to change to and prep the wheel. the wheel than it would have to just do the hat. Uh, Plus, it plays really funny. You know I like the yuck yucks. I know, but this the, one we, plays. But uh, I hate. I, we did the hat at the live event, and I—I I mean, I don't use the word, but I cringed. I hate. Oh, the hat. I thought it was. I, I, Dude, see, it's I so 2014, like moments. Piker. It's so Piker. Was it that bad of a year? No, was 2014 not that when bad of a year? Then. You need to have. I'm telling you, you need to have like a five by five board with one, two, three, four, five, all through twenty, and they're like seventeen, and then it, it flips over like a, a, a wheel of fortune know. letter, and boom, it's like Meryl Streep, and then people go. Effing crazy! It's it's <laughs> choose like again. game of chance or choose, yeah, again. Or choose yeah. again. I think the wheel's good, but it's like we 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 would have shut down the production for 15 minutes, and by that point People's we have we, we got it. It's the last match. Yeah. We got a crew. We got obligations. I got to get out of there and and tell some jokes. People and it's are loud like, and drinking. And just that it's a, that, that last that match. Hat. That oh. last match is always <laughs> that last match is. Thank a, God I'm not. Oh here. boy. Yeah. Yeah. But I, yeah. Apparently I heard, the crowd apparently was on fire. Crowd was great. It was really good. Crowd was great. And um, I didn't realize who I was harassing in the crowd during our match, and then I was told afterwards it's pretty funny. (laughs) I I, I knew who you were harassing. And I'm like, oh, this this will play well. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right, we'll take some phone calls. Cody, you ready to go? Okay, look at you. You guys already do the news? Yeah, we do. Because I know nothing about anything. How did it do? Uh, 91 million. 91, good. Okay. Okay. Hey, you're on Clatter Live. Who do we got? He does it to me every week. Hey, it's uh, Manny from Health Central. Manny, what's going on? What do you got for us today? Manny, what do they serve at Taco Bell? At Taco Bell? Oh, we, there's like so much Mexican food. We, mean, we don't even touch Taco Bell here. No, 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 no. We, we want to know what do they serve at Taco Bell? Did you listen to the show Are earlier today? listening to the show at all? Not going to lie. It doesn't sound great when somebody named Manny Steve calls on your like, ass. Nah. Uh, <laughs> don't, okay, got it. Don't worry about it. All right, what, so <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you got for us today, man? <laughs> Fart in the well, wind. i because I need some help. What do you got? <laughs> I got you. So I usually do uh, trivia uh, movie nights with my friends at a local bar. Sure. For Disney, our team name was uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, nice. Oh, I, like I like that. Okay. Picture night, uh, we were monsters ine- inebriated. Okay. Mm-hmm. Star Wars, we were Boba Fettish. I like so that. So mm-hmm. on Wednesday, we're, we're going to have Avengers, and I need help with the name. Uh, mm. The punnier, the better. Oh, for Avengers? Yeah. Because I was going to go back to Hunchback of Notre Dame, and I was going to say Quasimojo. Oh, yeah. you got to go imagine. That does got to go yeah, imagine. So. Are any of you guys widows? Lord. <laughs> she said funny. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Harbinger of death? I'm, dur- I'm channeling my Dorina. Dorina. Yeah. Are they all? Is it all guys, or is it girls, too? Uh, there's um, one girl in that. In okay. All right. All right. Mm, let us think on it. Yeah. Let's think on it. We'll think of it tomorrow because I'm going to do a writing session on the on the air. But like I'm thinking something with Civil War or something with uh, with Age of Ultron and in, uh, Infinity War. I don't know. We, we, we I would do. Out. I I would make your team name um, in memory of Spider Man. And I think you guys right. should pour a beer <laughs> on the floor so that yeah, before That's you start. Good. Captain America, fuck yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I'm getting better. Yeah, okay. Better. All right. So we'll, we'll we'll keep thinking about it, man. Thank you for the phone call. All right, we're going to we should do a we, that's what we should do. What? I mean, I know I know you want to do, you know, jokes again, oh. you know. I know you did stand up again and I think it's adorable. Oh, I think we should just do a barnstorm trivia night somewhere where it's all trivia. It's like the Schmodown presents Barney Spinner right. Tuesday Bar night trivia, Bar trivia. but but it's not just movies. It's like it could be it, it, it's music, it's television, <laughs> I like it's the pop idea. culture. I, I also like the idea of doing something like uh, Color of Money, to where we send in some we send in like Oyama and Merle See, to like play. Against, I had that like, idea. Somebody when, random when we were doing uh, Schmoes when when you uh, took your hiatus. 
I thought it'd be the funniest thing because back then we, we were doing schmoes in the old studio and it was yeah. at night on either Wednesday or Thursday. I can't remember. And I thought it'd be so funny because after the show, we'd go over to Barney's and have like a beer. And that was the night that Barney's did trivia. Yeah. And I was just thinking how funny it would be if we set it up to where uh, like Roca, we, Roca's in the hat and he's just drinking by himself in the corner. And you're like, how about that guy? And we film it and it's like, yeah. how about that guy? And it's just like Clint Eastwood in Unforgiven just yeah. decides to dust Take off the old shotgun for a one thousand more time. Yeah. Trivia yeah. assemble. It's not bad. Uh, mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> it's not worth a fart. I hey, mean. you're on another uh, you know, another call. Who we got? <laughs> hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Hey, how are you? This is Leo from North Carolina. Hey, what's going on? North Carolina, my first state. Raise up. Yeah, I've actually been trying to call in for a long time. Yay! Well, we're happy to have you. All right, let's hear. Yeah, just if you can, just try to. I don't know. We can't. You're a little muddled. So if we can maybe get your mouth closer to the phone, it'd be amazing. Is that better? There Much better. Perfect. Okay, what do you got for us today, sir? I uh, just uh, just wanted to say, love the slider stuff. Love the schmo down, and uh, so happy to hear about your uh, contest for fans to be on a match. Yeah. Have you ever thought about coming to North Carolina? Oh yeah, hundred percent. It's just uh, it's one of those things that we just need to keep building up the as the fan base grows and grows and grows, and we can get to more places. We haven't announced all of the cities and all the places we're going next season, but we want to go to a lot of different places. And Charlotte's kinda, a good spot. That's a good spot. But uh, Charlotte's a good spot. It's also one of those things, though. And I know it's I know it's a hell of a drive from or you know North Carolina to Orlando. But it, what, that's one of the things that I've been seeing a lot from people is because of this contest, a lot more people are coming out because of it. Because like once again, if you're just tuning in, once we get to 500 tickets sold, that there will be a contest in the pre-show that. Anyone who buys a ticket, anyone who buys a ticket will be entered into a raffle. Four people will be chosen in a fatal four-way. Winner gets a flight and hotel to Los Angeles with the winner playing in an actual Schmodown match with any manager of their choosing. And we are getting closer to 300 tickets. All we need, 200 more tickets, guys. If you're anywhere near the area, get it. Maybe North Carolina, maybe that's your, your way in. But we'd like to try to get there. Okay, well, if it means taking down Mike Kalinowski, I'd definitely. Well, there you go. There you go. So you go. So I mean, he's mm-hmm. not a fan of Kalinowski. There you go, Roxy. It's a really Did good you... theater that just opened in uh, North Carolina. It's like a Fillmore kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, Pat Oswalt just taped a special there. Okay. And uh, it, I don't know how big the venue is, but that's something we could look into because it I'd is. love to go back to North Carolina. Well, it's also one of the reasons why I want to start doing more. Like, if we do some comedy shows, maybe mm-hmm. like on the Friday nights, and even do like a podcast or something also before. We're, f- we're figuring out a lot next season, so hopefully we get to North Carolina. Thank you for the call. Vodka and Age of Ultronic? I'm trying to get something yeah. with Ant-Man and the Wasp. Well, I was thinking if they were like, all Italian, it could be Ant-Man and the Wops. Yeah. And know, I, like, I was thinking Ant-Man and like the sauce, but you need something else. Yeah. You know, you could go with uh, Hulk up and hold my what beer. If they were all uh, Hulk yeah. is not Hulk's a, a good one to start with. I was thinking <laughs> Nick Fury, hey. but like yeah. Hey, you're on Collider. Dick uh, Larry. Thor Ragnar on the Rocks. Hold on. Uh, that's not bad. There it is. Bag ranking on the there rocks. I like that. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? What were you uh, this is Matt Leake from Koreatown. Hello, oh. Matt. What do you got for us, then? So close, and yet. I have a simple close. question. Uh, sure. Robocop or Predator? What do you mean? As Predator. far as like liking it or the reboot? Or, are you or who wins in a fight? Yeah, no, what do you... You, have to pick, you have to pick what your favorite movie is of the two, Robocop or Predator. So 87 mm. Predator, 87 Yeah, the original. Uh, Robocop. The 80s. No, no reboots ever. Oh. It's a tough one. That's uh, easy I love me. Robocop's got so much in it because yeah. Robocop has such like a cool dark sense of like a precursor to a Gremlins 2. You know, it's just got such a great wink and nod sense of so humor. You're going, you're going Robocop? I, 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 it, it's so hard to pass up Arnold Schwarzenegger, the greatest action star we've ever known, in his absolute prime, prime. at his apex. So I am going to say. This, man, RoboCop's got a lot of comedy value, but I'm going to go Predator. I love RoboCop, but it doesn't have Arnold and it doesn't have Jesse Ventura. Yes. So Predator. Dutch. I agree. Yeah. I right. agree. So there you go. I, but although I... Other it's hand. Predator. Other hand. Predator. Predator. Uh, I'm scared. Oh, you didn't, he puts his hand up. I don't think he's going to hit me. I'm going to break his arm off. Like, it's going to be like that scene in The Fly with Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, All right. Thank you for the phone call. All right. Let's Val I need to do a rewatch. Though. I'm, I'm on Thor. I'm just gonna right, go stay with the Thor and Ragnar on the Rock. Yeah. Ragnar on the Rock. No, I don't like that it doesn't have anything to do with trivia. Neither do the other stuff. None of his trivia. names. Came no, yeah, if we could get something that would be like trivia, I think that'd be ideal. All right. I don't we know had if that it can out. happen. We had it out. You guys stuck us in the mud. All right. Yeah. What? Hey, you're on Collider Live. What do we got? Uh, 
Eddie from North Carolina. Oh, oh wow. North Carolina. North Carolina. What, Eddie. Wait, Eddie, what part of North Carolina are you are you in? Uh, right now, I'm in Fayetteville. Fayetteville, very, very nice. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. it's a stone's throw. It's about an hour from Winston Salem, gorgeous, where I was born. Here. Not only is that the birthplace of uh, Mark Ellis. It's also the birthplace of Krispy Kreme donuts. Boom, oh, chocolate. Wow. Wow. All right, what do you Two got for us today? In each one. They're hot. Uh, well, my question is for Mark. Um, Sir. Your, your stand up special, is it going to be for sale or is it going to be for streaming? Still working all that out. I, I tend to think I just want to stream it right off the bat uh, for free for the, for the people, for the masses. Uh, there's a lot of comics okay. do a lot of different things with their specials. Like they'll release them on their website and sell it for, yeah, you know, two ninety nine or three ninety nine initially, and then stream it to somewhere like YouTube afterwards. Uh, and so I think that I our our fans are so supportive of everything we do, and they, you know, sometimes tickets aren't cheap. Sometimes uh, you know, Patreons and all that stuff. It's it, it takes an expense, and so. If I can just get this thing out to as many people as possible, I think I'd probably rather go that route. So I'll, I'll announce all that stuff soon, but uh, you'll be able to see it uh, pretty quickly, free of charge. Ginfinity War. Cool. Ginfinity War is great. Ginfinity really War good. is good. That yeah. better. It's a good one. I think it's better than the yeah. Ragnar. Yeah. I like Ragnar on the Rock yeah. still, though, too. Okay. All right, thank you for the phone call. Let's do uh, we'll do two more. Cool. Um, yeah, so anyway. Who's, <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Hey, who's on Collider Live now? <laughs> Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Chris and... Hey, it's Chris in Austin. What's up, Chris? Chris? Hi, All right, Chris. Chris. What do you got for us today? Hey, uh, I actually had a question. You had uh, Steve Byron on. Byrne, yeah. Uh, like a month. Yes. It, it's like a few months ago. You were talking about his amazing, amazing. What's up? Yeah. He had an amazing uh, Jonathan documentary. Yeah. yeah. So good. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you seen the other one that's on Hulu? No, that's the one that he talked about while he was on here. It was kind of like the it was like the the conflicting one. Yeah, absolutely. No, yeah. I haven't seen yeah, it. it. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. It just pr- it came out like maybe a few weeks ago. Is Steve actually in that documentary? Because he said that he was. So he is, but his face is blurred out. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I haven't seen that, but I mean, hearing you know, hearing the story of it, I I fully back. Yeah. Steve Me too. and Me what too. he was doing. Me too. During the thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and I think I won't watch the other one because of that. Yeah. 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 I, I might go that same way. You can check Steve's out on uh on YouTube. on YouTube right now. Yeah. YouTube. I think it's it past so like five hundred thousand. Can I ask the caller if he had like a preference on either oh, one? I think he's only seen the one. Oh, okay. Oh no no no! I mean, he said he saw it. Oh, you saw it both. Steve did, yeah, yeah. The one that Steve did is like more in depth and okay. like in jo- like like you know. I don't know. It was crazy because the one that the other one, the Hulu one, it like reveals that there was actually like three or four documentaries going on mm. at the same time. It, it was crazy. Hmm. Like I, I don't know the whole the whole thing. You know, I love Jonathan because I've been watching him since like the old Comedy Central special and stuff. Right. Nice, but. Uh, it was just the whole experience of watch, watching both documentaries and like seeing the whole like process of it getting made over his lifespan is just crazy. So. I like loved watching fest. Steve's because I wanted to learn about Jonathan because I, I hadn't known yeah. uh, I, I didn't even know who he was before I talked to Steve, which is kind of crazy now because I feel like he's come up in conversation so many times since. But right. it was I thought he did such an amazing job for both the super fans of Jonathan's and then the people like me who didn't know who he was, just kind of catering to both audiences. You really I, missed an easy pun there. He could have done an amazing job, but then you see it ended there. <laughs> Yeah, See, once really once you get the just cylinders on. once you get the fired, the machine, yeah. it's like the, the, mach- the machine was broken. It had been just turned on in years, and it up. just fired mm-hmm. up, and it just won't yeah. stop. Mm-hmm. It's like the electricity yeah. just firing out from the top yeah. of the roof. I, once you start asking me for puns about <laughs> things, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. thank you for the phone call. We'll do one more for uh, for the great Cody Hall. Uh, hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Uh, you got Travis from Dallas on the line. Travis, Travis, Travis. from Dallas, Texas, North Carolina. Carolina. Texas. What do you got for us today? Test Forever Street. Yeah, well, man, I'm just uh, giving y'all a call. This is like the first time I've ever really actually, you know, called in. Long time listener, first time caller, that type of thing. Awesome. Nice. I just, um... oh, and by the way, Mark, sir, how did you enjoy all of those Whataburger sauces, man? Oh, thank God! I thought you were going to ask a uh, a question about the Cowboys yesterday. Thank you for going Whataburger oh, instead. God, I... No, I would no, I would, I would, I would never, dude. I would never. I enjoyed the hell out of Whataburger. I thought it was, I've never been. I, there, there were a lot he was, of. He was the only one. I didn't go. There were a lot either. of reports yeah, from yeah. people 
who did not enjoy Whataburger, uh, the substance nor the sauces that came with it. I had a blast. I got yeah. Whataburger. This is the, the, the greatest experience that one can have. And I'll say it. Better than sex is if you're a little See, drunk go back to and you go home and on your way home you get a nice burger, you get a lot of dipping sauces, yeah. you get the fries, you you open it up, you <laughs> eat it, you put on a movie. Usually it's a movie you know pretty well. I'll put on a Robocop, I'll put on a Predator, Almost and I'll done. eat Whataburger, right. and I'll enjoy a movie that I've seen a lot of times. You guys talking trash earlier? No, it wasn't no. trash. It was a matter of sheep. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, no, I asked the question. <laughs> Halfway through my story, I'm like, wait, what did they say about me? You know, she, she asked, asked a, a question, a genuine question. Yeah, she did. She said, do you think... Do you we're talking about how Makuga said he would never get married, mm-hmm. right? And then she goes, "Do you think Ellis?" <laughs> I remember those yeah. days. And, I, and he said, well, <laughs> Taco Bell, and She asked baby. me, she said, "Do you think Ellis will ever get married?" And I go, "Probably not." And I was like, "It's not because he can; it's probably because he won't." But if he did, I said, "Kids, no." No. And I said, "Maybe if he married, wound up fa- finding someone to marry someone that had kids, he'd be a good stepfather." But as far as a an overall having kids, no. Why? You don't think he he. Could or, no, he didn't want That's to. That's not what I said. No, you don't. Riley said that. Oh, I relax. Oh, Riley's relax with the defensiveness. I don't need it in my life. Mm. I uh, yeah. Do I, you think I don't... that you'll get married? No. Oh. No, this I. This guy's still on the line. <laughs> yeah. so he asked a question so about what a burger. No idea how, how many how long I have waited to be able to do, talk to all you guys. Mark, I actually met you at Hyenas, I think about a year, year and a half ago. That oh, strip club. Really? Travis, are you the one that brought me all the water burger sauces? That's exactly right. Yeah, so so this dude, th- th- this guy rolls up, and, 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 and he's like in. Club. I think he was in Coming line club. for the late show. So so I'm I'm taking Cheetah's pictures of everybody after, after the early show. After. Travis is rolling it for the late show, and he just hands me this bag. It's like a gift bag, like you give someone for their birthday. Uh, mm-hmm. And I open it up, and it's just all these Whataburger sauces with no burgers, and, with no burgers, just sauces. And I'm looking at the sauces, and my first thought is, what a nice gift from a fan. My second thought is, there's no way I'm getting these through TSA. That's right. So I yeah. need to eat as much of these. As I need you can. to. It, it was on the, my first night of the trip, and so I had a lot of French fries that week, and I sampled a lot of different Whataburger sauces. I think I'm rolling with the honey Fantastic. mustard was my favorite. My favorite thing that was sent to me was Brad Gilmore afterwards, and I always forget the name of the fucking restaurant. I get yelled at by the people in the hot sauce the, place. No, the, it's Torchies, right? Torchies, Torchies. The, the taco. Scorchies. Is it Scorchies or Torchies? Torchies. What is, it's Torchies, right? Oh, yeah. Torchies tacos. Torchies, yeah. Torchies, I said Torchies. Torchies. What do they sell there? That's kind of a big deal over here. It's the best. Around these it's areas, the these best. Parts. Yeah. And I so love Torchies it. is a chain then. Torchies is. It's the best. Yeah. And right, Monday told me to go. Because. But I went. We It was me, Dagnino, and Gilmore. But Gilmore sent me a bottle of the hot sauce afterwards. Oh, yeah. And I destroyed it. I used it on everything that I had. I want more of it. Don't mention hot sauce in the room with these two guys. Well, it's real hot. So it's like, it's like <laughs> yeah, was it? Uh, was yeah. it? Was it Magnum 365 yeah, or whatever that? All right. Well, thank you for the phone call, man. Thank Travis. you for the hot sauce. All right. Look, that's it. That's the show. I want to uh, thank uh, Cody Hall for joining us. Congrats, buddy. Daddy. Go, trying to go, he's probably been sleeping the whole Congrats time. Congrats to Cody him. and little Randolph. Yeah, I don't blame him. Mark Ellis, make sure you so check out Mark name? Ellis. Mark, Grant. Yeah, Grant Hill. So go Randolph to, Children's Grant Hill. I like Randolph. Do you go to Mark <laughs> Ellis? You know, they want to get those tickets for Thursday night one more time? Uh, just go to thecomedystore.com or go to my pinned tweet for the link and the tickets. They're dirt cheap. A lot Do of that. great acts Thursday night. Do that. Roxy Stryer, Josh McCuga, Mark Riley. We'll see you tomorrow. I don't know if we have guests, but we could. See you tomorrow. This is John Roca.